microphone is on. Welcome everyone. Glad to have you all here. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, and of course, this is a Volcano X live stream. Welcome and uh, uh, thank you, uh, Sue. And I got your email, Sue. No worries. As you can probably see on the uh, screen there, it uh, does have a little bit of info on uh, the uh, issues at hand. So, uh, all good. And I hear you from a Sharon Stewart. <laughs> no worries. Excellent. And uh, thanks, Hermian. And um, well, welcome back, Doc. Okay. Thank you, Philomena. <laughs> Philomena. Uh, and a very good, uh, good day to everyone. So, Let's uh, just kind of really quickly uh, go take a look at uh, some of the uh, quick news. Uh, obviously, on the screen, you can already see uh, that um, we see uh, emissions have been interrupted at that uh, Kopo, uh, Kopahu, is it Kopahui <laughs> volcano uh, down in uh, uh, Chile slash Argentina doing its thing if I'm in the right spot yep and uh, then of course uh, we are also seeing a seismic uh, swarm uh, happening under uh, the other one up there in the Aleutian Islands which is uh, kind of interesting anyway that's uh, what is it called it uh, Tak Takawangha uh, Takawangha volcano and Tanaga Island up in the Aleutian Islands uh, Alaskan territory so uh, that's kind of what's on, on the news other than uh, G Buffalo getting a whole pile of snow <laughs> and uh, they got dumped on uh, so uh, for uh, those good people uh, that are living in that area yeah stay home <laughs> that's a good advice if you can and uh, that would be awesome anyway um, Tom Dice I see you there and now they're back. Please go away. What's going on? Who's <laughs> uh, who's back? Oh, the young bucks? Oh, uh, chase them away. We don't want them there. <laughs> did did they give you more wood? Oh boy. Anyway, uh, let's uh, check in here first and see uh, who was the uh, first person in today. Oh, I remember. Uh, it's uh, that guy. Uh, so uh, let's. Uh, I give him some cookies. And there you go, Henry. Uh, you were first today, so you got your cookies. And uh, there we go. Uh, we will uh, get at things. And uh, we'll uh, start by saying hello to our wonderful moderators. Arizona Snowman, uh, hiding in the background somewhere. And then we've got Piggy. And Piggy has good news. Uh, her little thistle. Well, it was kind of um, kind of a weird thing. Uh, hang on, I gotta double check something here. Um, okay, yep, no worries, Piggy, if you're uh, busy, I understand that. So, uh, what ended up happening is uh, Little Thistle apparently escaped from the home that she was at, and um, uh, Thistle was gone. And it was it was horrible, and uh, Piggy was panicking, and uh, Thistle too, which is a sibling to Thistle, uh, was going to uh, end up uh, coming home with uh, Piggy, which actually did. But uh, what ended up happening after um, a tremendous amount of searching and everything else, uh, somebody actually located the, the little uh, fella, so uh, or her, and Thistle is back. And Thistle is now at Piggy's house. And uh, I think the other uh, little doggy uh, went back. Uh, but uh, Thistle is uh, definitely at uh, uh, Piggy's place. No, uh, Piggy's not going to do two. She only wanted one. So, um, yeah, apparently there was a Thistle one and a Thistle two. And she's got Thistle one back. And uh, that is awesome. So uh, that's where Piggy is right now. She's uh, tending to uh, Thistle trying to settle them down, and uh, that's all good. Anyway, carrying on with our other wonderful uh, moderators, we got C and D Boy in here as well, and um, possibly um, Gary at 24-7 Live, he's at Skies hiding in the background, 
and uh, then we may have some others like Joseph Fields and uh, uh, Lucas Snow and of course and there's a whole list of moderators uh, that we have that could be popping in at different times stuff like that so uh, those are not the only one but anyway um, good to have everyone on board here today and uh, we'll uh, get at saying hello to you guys and uh, we'll start out with saying hi to Tom Dice who's out there uh, I could give everyone uh, here a free turkey right now oh the turkeys uh, I wouldn't mind a free turkey um, is it uh, is it still alive do I have to feed it <laughs> if if I have to feed it you better bring uh, send some turkey feed as well anyway uh, welcome to Alba girl uh, welcome also to a uh, tetra and uh, Kevin Haynes Henry Nelson of course got the cookies uh, Albert is here King Colin Dedman, uh, Russell is good, Kathy from Hawaii, aloha, <laughs> good to have you on board, uh, Jeremiah is here, welcome back uh, Jeremiah, and uh, going up we got Sharon Stewart already, and uh, let's see, uh, who else have we got in here, uh, Sue Hayes on board of course, uh, welcome Sue, and uh, going up, uh, seeing a lot of uh, repeat names all of a sudden. You guys are chatting lots, but uh, hey, that's okay. That's exactly what the chat is for. And uh, Alba Girl also here. Welcome. And uh, going up a little bit uh, further here, uh, we see uh, Kevin uh, Williams. And uh, we've got Kevin Haynes, Kevin Williams. So almost uh, uh, a keg of Kevins. <laughs> but uh, we'll uh, see if others uh, uh, show up. Hermie and Schaefer here. And uh, I think I might have said that already. Adele, welcome. And Alba Girl, I think we got you. And going up some more, looking for more wonderful names. Layla, also in the house. Uh, good to have you on board, Layla. And uh, let's see. Kevin, we got. Sharon, we got. Going up, scrolling some more here, looking for others that I may have missed. Uh, MT Cold Forge, uh, welcome. Uh, glad to have you on board. And uh, Gail Moore, welcome back. Uh, good to have you on here again. And let's see, who else we got? Uh, still scrolling up, you guys. And uh, we got Layla, we got Henry. Whoop. Uh, who else uh, are we looking for here for other names? I'm just not seeing any right now. Judy L. I don't think I mentioned your name yet, but welcome. And I am as far up as I can make it up there. Uh, Raymond Bensler, down on the bottom end here. Welcome. And uh, Kathy says, I'll be right back. Aloha, hugs, uh, cookies in uh, the submarine. <laughs> munch, munch. Okay, hey. Uh, make sure you don't leave too many crumbs behind. Uh, that is a confined space. We need to um, keep it clear. <laughs> no crumbs. And uh, let's see. Uh, did I miss anyone else on the bottom here? I think we're pretty good for right now. If I did not say your name, I'm not trying to be rude or anything. Um, you know, like, um, it it's just happens uh, sometimes. Um, I mean, we do have... Uh, Tetra, did I say your name? Welcome, Tetra. <laughs> uh, Philomena, I think uh, you were in here as well. I see you there. So hopefully you got everybody's name. So I want to make sure that we uh, didn't miss anyone. And uh, all good. So uh, what's new and exciting? I don't know. Not much. Um, kind of uh, slugging along at the same old pace. And of course, right now we're looking at some canned lava. And uh, let's see when that was actually from. Uh, looks like uh, the uh, 20... Oh, hang on. Where am I? Get the right file. Ragnar file. Archive footage. Day 128. <laughs> there we go. It's right on the screen. Um, I should have noticed that. I put it there. Uh, anyway. Uh, God, I don't know where to start. Let's, let's stop the canned lava. And uh, we'll uh, get over to um, we'll look at a few other things here. So 
Uh, turn that off. Oh, hey, more can lava underneath that can lava. Let's turn uh, that off too. And, and now we've got nothing on our screen. What happened to my um, screen? How about I turn that on? Nope, that ain't working either. Or is it? Oh, it's buffering. No wonder that it's uh, all looking black. Give me a second. I'll find my black screen and see if we can fix that. And uh, we'll uh, skip ahead to live, see if that fixes it. Nope. Oh, yeah, it does. I finally got there. All right, and we can turn that little banner off too. Anyway, that is uh, what the city of Reykjavik is looking like right now. And it uh, looks uh, pretty darn foggy to me. And uh, that, of course, is in Iceland uh, for those good people uh, who uh, don't know. Uh, can I... Okay, can you ask the volcano gods uh, when we will see more Iceland lava? I uh, certainly will, Michael. Uh, thank you kindly for that wonderful super chat. And uh, we will uh, definitely um, uh, work on uh, getting uh, a message out there uh, for them. Uh, that'll be awesome. Um, I'd like to know myself. So, a uh, good question. And uh, that is uh, something uh, that we want to know. Uh, going back about eight hours, uh, just to give you a better idea what the day looks like. And by the way, thank you, Michael, for that wonderful super chat. Um, ooh, oh, uh, hang on. Why did that change? I just did that. <laughs> anyway, I am, YouTube's been doing that all day uh, to me. If I go back to look at anything, it seems to want to put me um, elsewhere uh, time-wise. Anyway, looking at the uh, mountains in the background, we do see some more snow on there. So we know things are uh, starting to turn into winter. And, uh, of course, you can see uh, the uh, snow being lit up there. Uh, downtown uh, Reykjavik is uh, right here. And uh, that is uh, what it looks like. No snow on the ground right now, uh, which is uh, all right. Uh, we'll uh, put that back to live. We'll see if the other uh, camera is working. Oh, it too is uh, having problems. <laughs> and uh, there we go. Uh, we got it on there now. Uh, this, of course, is the other view. We'll go back about eight hours as well, just to give a, a fair comparison. And uh, there's the uh, downtown core. And, of course, uh, this is the uh, regional airport. You can see uh, what's going on. Um, the grass is um, kind of dry and brown, uh, so uh, no snow on it. And uh, that is a pretty good indicator of that the weather is not too bad there as of yet. It has been raining a fair amount. Uh, this, of course, is our other shot of um, uh, this is cat lap. But uh, right now it's very dark, so we're going to go back about eight hours as well on this one and uh, just have a peek. And uh, no, no peek uh, because Katla is over here uh, in those clouds, and of course it's underneath the ice fields, so we actually don't really see it, but uh, we see the area that it normally resides in. And uh, even when we go back to almost um, the wee hours of the morning, you can just barely see some of that um, uh, snow and ice fields and that is uh, laying uh, beneath those clouds. Anyway, uh, that is uh, kind of what we've got there in Iceland right now, nothing major. We'll uh, pop over and have a quick uh, peek at the uh, um, harmonic uh, tremor chart, of course. And I uh, wanted to say uh, welcome to Kananaskis country. Uh, good to have you on board. Oh, I was going to finish something, and uh, here we go, and that'll finish this. Um, just had to do that, so uh, there you go. Uh, make sure your gift settings are turned to opt-in is turned on. Yeah, apparently, yeah, you can click on that uh, banner, and uh, that'll uh, pop you in there. And uh, there they go, um, all five of uh, the gift uh, settings that are gifts that I just uh, handed out there uh, seem to be uh, grabbed. Adele got one, Do Free, uh, Timothy uh, Sowers, and uh, Yvonne uh, Hayton Hayton, Hay, well, Hayton Injustice. Okay, Hayton Injustice, there we go, got it out. Uh, Richard LaPointe as well. Uh, glad that you guys uh, got those. Uh, so awesome. And uh, congratulations to uh, all of you. Um, so uh, that's good to see all five um, got through there uh, very quickly. 
and uh, sometimes you have to give back a little bit you know that's the way we look at it so uh, I do um, do like uh, having the uh, stream growing and and stuff like that so uh, you know, like I say I give back a little uh, now and again and it uh, does wonders uh, keeps uh, people happy <laughs> anyway let's uh, take a look at this broken harmonic tremor chart we see it here I'm going to refresh this and just to make sure and of course that one is broken it's still it's refreshed and it's still busted Sharon Stewart also throws in a five uh, gift a membership uh, a freebie there and uh, more people are getting a holy macro uh, that is awesome and um, Siggy Ragnar even got one holy Batman Siggy you're lucky and uh, thank you uh, Sharon Stewart uh, Sharon uh, just writing that down and uh, Stewart there we go I gifted a five and, and that is a uh, great stuff so um, that's already a 10 uh, renewed and uh, congrats uh, to all of you uh, who I uh, just received it. Uh, Peter Greenlee uh, Gabby got one uh, Carla Ott and uh, Siggy of course and Trek 15 so uh, awesome to see that um, you guys are getting these and uh, that is um, really really cool I uh, I do like that and uh, big uh, thank you uh, to all Kananaskis country have you turned yours on there's a setting there when you click on these things apparently click on the banner if you um, uh, turn on there's a place to turn it on and I notice you know we've done this many times and you never uh, did that so uh, or never uh, turned green for us and um, maybe uh, consider turning it on um, it's free it's not gonna hurt you um, you know if you have a membership um, it's uh, and you're not um, no everyone uh, comes before me ah can and ask his country turn it on don't be a, don't be a nasty guy <laughs> <coughs> pardon me I want everyone happy well, hey, um, you count too, you know that. You're part of the group, I'm part of the Lava family, so, um, you know, everybody kind of gets it. But again, it's it's up to, um, once you have it turned on, it's up to YouTube who actually gets it. So, uh, kind of beyond our control, but uh, nevertheless, hopefully, um, hopefully you'll consider turning yours on. Thanks. Anyway, uh, Fragrant Elf, y'all, we aren't seeing anything. I just wanted to go up and uh, scroll up here, take a look at um, the Astra chart, see if uh, Astra was working again or if it is uh, still uh, broken as well. Well, it looks like it might have just started. Um, started to work, somebody kicked it, and uh, there you can see the uh, big spike there. Um, somebody uh, must have kicked it. <laughs> kickstart um, but not enough data to really be able to tell what's going on in the Astra area right now uh, but at least it's uh, showing some data uh, Sandra Rockland welcome I'm glad to have you on board oh mummy of hamsters popped in as well uh, good to see you and anyway let's uh, scroll down we're gonna take a look at uh, the other ones uh, we'll have a peek at uh, Grimsey, and uh, then we will also take a look at um, uh, Grims, uh, not Grims Rotten, um, Grindavik. Anyway, here is uh, Grimsey, and uh, up and down, and up and down, and heading back down, and that's what we're seeing there. So, up and down like a yo yo, and not uh, doing a heck of a lot, fairly low levels. Uh, I don't think we're going to see anything pop uh, because of it. So that is kind of what, what we've got there on the board. And if we uh, scroll down a little bit more, we can uh, get to the uh, one for Grindavik. And uh, there it is there. And uh, looking at it, I wish our Fragadel Fjell one was working uh, because I see that really did go up. And it looks like it is going to head back down. So... Uh, I wish we could see what's going on there and maybe we'll be able to figure it out 
with our wonderful uh, earthquakes. So um, without further ado, I'll, I'm going to actually leave it on Grindavik. We'll go over to the earthquake map and see how many millions of earthquakes we had uh, there today. And, uh, well, I guess uh, millions, um, um, we can uh, count that out. 42 earthquakes for today. And you can see that right up top here. And, um, well, oh, I quit clicking on those. <laughs> all right. Uh, looking at uh, what's causing all those, uh, we don't know yet. Well, other than uh, the whole thing's uh, moving and shifting and uh, doing its thing, pulling apart. And uh, anyway, let's take a look at some of these quakes. A fairly fresh one, 1646 for this zero. And that is a five uh, kilometers down for him. And then we've got two stacked right on top of each other here. 0.91, 5.1 clicks down. And that was from 1146. Uh, Aurelio, thanks for renewing and welcome. Uh, glad to have you on board, Aurelio. Uh, from 1148, we had a 0.68, five point one kilometers down there as well. And of course, uh, this is on the Arakens uh, Peninsula. And uh, there's your Kevlovic Airport, Kevlovic, Reikensbar, Yardvik, and uh, down here is um, Grinovic. Hang on. Okay, for some reason, I've been coughing really weird like today and I hope um, you know I've I've even cut back on uh, things like smoking and stuff um, because of the coughing and I don't know maybe I'm coming down with something I hope I don't got some bad virus or something but uh, anyway uh, this uh, 0 0.59 and that is from a one point uh, one kilometers down 720 a.m and then we uh, get over here and that is actually uh, very close to uh, uh, the uh, Blue Lagoon right here if we uh, zoom in you can see it a little bit better uh, Blue Lagoon parking lot Blue Lagoon area and then on the other side here is the uh, power plant and of course uh, that is uh, just out here in the field um, in visual range and um, you know uh, these we've seen a lot in this area um, some a little more scary than others. Anyway, uh, Grindavik is there, and of course uh, we uh, do see, here's our uh, Ragnar and Siggy Fisher, and uh, of course, uh, kind of in between everything, we got a 0 0.83, uh, 4.6 kilometers down, and a one, uh, what was it, 15 minutes after uh, midnight that that came in, so um, really not all that much happening there. Uh, we have a two that decided to go swimming, a 0.5, uh, seven kilometers under the lake, and that is uh, from a 1930. And the other one is a 1.2, and that is 5.5 kilometers down from a 1910. And uh, that is interesting, but um, not scary. Um, let's uh, carry on, take a look at these other ones. Uh, 9.28 a.m. we had a 0.51, 5.1 kilometers down. And then we had a 1.1 from a 1854, 6.2 kilometers down. 1.3, uh, that was from 1720, uh, 7.4 kilometers down for him. And that basically concludes what's happening on the uh, the peninsula for the most part and uh, I'm not sure if these really count but close enough a uh, sliding over to and uh, this is where it gets a little more interesting Katla area uh, they're not over here today in the unspeakable name but uh, they are over at Katla and we uh, do have a few of them here so 0 0.6 14.7 kilometers down from a 21 of 15 and uh, down on the bottom here we have uh, this 1.2, uh, 13 kilometers uh, down from a uh, 21 of uh, 14. Then we've got uh, this guy here, 2.1, and that is a lot uh, shallower, 1.1 kilometers down, 21 of uh, 13 is the time on it. And uh, the uh, very fresh uh, 2.5, and that is 1.1 kilometers down as well at uh, 21 of uh, 13 again. So. 
all uh, basically the same time and um, that gave everything a good shake there it's when you see those you have to kind of go hmm what's happening there and uh, we'll uh, we'll find out uh, if uh, you know maybe uh, maybe we will get our uh, wonderful uh, stuff uh, going uh, for uh, Christmas uh, Catla would be a very uh, very unique capture uh, to see uh, that volcano working anyway um, at least I haven't seen it uh, doing its thing I remember way back when you know TV stuff but uh, not a heck of a lot this was uh, before the internet uh, came along anyway uh, we have a 1.16 uh, further over to the east and uh, this is a uh, 2.4 kilometers down 5:33 a.m. and uh, then uh, we kind of get uh, halfway between uh, Grimsvatten and Bardabunga and we see uh, these guys here and uh, that is point uh, seven eight two kilometers down and uh, 703 a.m. for uh, that guy then we have these two sitting here point eight six uh, for the one sixteen point two kilometers down uh, 114 a.m. and then a 1.62 uh, 15.8 kilometers down from 113 a.m and that is uh, kind of it uh, for that area we don't see any extras uh, for those so i don't think anything is really going to happen in that area let's uh, take a look at well this is astra we don't see anything happening around astra and um, uh, since they just got their uh, chart turned back on it'll be interesting to see and uh, hopefully uh, there's um, quietness but we do see uh, right around Herdebreed and we uh, continue to see um, activity and let's uh, start out with some of these uh, 0 0.71 1.68 kilometers down uh, 1304 for him this uh, 1.06 2.1 clicks down 1335 was the time uh, 1337 had a 1.94 uh, 2.1 kilometers down a point eight seven seven point or sorry three point seven kilometers down was actually uh, yesterday's at uh, twenty three uh, th uh, twenty six and then we've got uh, this guy here twenty three oh three uh, yesterday as well uh, point uh, three five four point uh, three kilometers down for him then uh, one point uh, three five uh, from yesterday as well uh, twenty three nineteen uh 3.9 clicks down for that one and uh, let's split these two up here 1.06 again yesterday's 22.48 so we probably went over some of these already uh, but uh, that is okay um 4.1 clicks down for him and then uh, four kilometers down for this uh, 0.5 also from yesterday 23.26 and we've got a 0.5 here uh, yesterday's as well from a uh, 2321 and that was uh, 4.2 kilometers down so uh, that is uh, right there on the south side of uh, Herdebreed and on the uh, northern uh, side we have these other ones 1204 was the time on this 0.57 4.9 kilometers down then we've got uh, 1202 had a 0.87 5.3 clicks down uh, one and uh, four point eight kilometers down uh, from eighteen eleven today, and uh, let's see, there's a point seven six, a uh, five point two kilometers down at uh, twelve o two, uh, was the time on it, uh, sliding over a bit, a uh, one point three four point three kilometers down from nineteen twenty six, and then we've got a, a two point uh, sorry a, a point eight six uh, two o seven a.m. Uh, three and nineteen uh, sorry uh, three point nine kilometers up down boy am I getting things bad I've got a sneeze that's why <laughs> anyway uh, sorry uh, 19 at uh, 28 was the time for this point six five point two clicks down and uh, then he had a little friend point uh, one uh, four point one clicks down from uh, 1906 as well sliding up a little bit more and uh, we see a one point uh, four six 2.7 kilometers down and that was from a 3 a 39 a.m. a 1.1 3.1 clicks down a 1658 for that and a 0.8 2.2 uh, kilometers down from 1645 
and the point six, uh, two point three kilometers down, seventeen forty six, and the last one in that area from eighteen forty nine, a point seven, two point nine clicks down, and uh, thanks, uh, uh, Juliet, uh, welcome. Uh, glad that you hit that button, and glad to have you on board. Uh, 1.16 uh, over here, and uh, that is uh, 9.4 kilometers down from uh, 10.16 a.m. And uh, moving over a little more, we see a 1.4, uh, uh, 5.7 kilometers down, 15.28 uh, was the time on it. Now, uh, that may have been uh, one of the spikes that we've seen on uh, the uh, Grimsey chart. This is the island of Grimsey right there. And um, that is uh, kind of close, I guess. That would be the closest one anyway. And we also do have this 0.9 over here, 5.2 kilometers down. 12.13 was the time on it. And then we've got another one from 12.13, 0.59. Uh, the other one was 0.9, yeah. And uh, this is 0.59. 7.6 kilometers down for this one. Same time for both of them. And uh, that's it. I'm uh, oh, one more up here. A uh, 2.01, 9.6 kilometers uh, down, and a uh, 3.43 uh, uh, a.m. is the time on that. So that's what we're seeing for uh, quakes there, and uh, really nothing uh, too, too major happening uh, there uh, yet. As far as um, we'll have to uh, talk to the lava workers and the lava gods and see if we can uh, get somebody to uh, get something uh, cooking. Um, I'd be okay with uh, cat lab. That would be an interesting uh, one to see, but I really would like to see more action at uh, Ragnar. It really would be uh, cool. Now, uh, you know, for those who've been around for a while with the stream, um, you all uh, do understand that was uh, supposedly a shield volcano and uh, if it does in fact erupt again in the same fashion it did last time I would say so but for right now I'm not going to call um, uh, Ragnar shield volcano yet same thing with Siggy Fisher uh, but hey we'll see what happens in the future and hopefully um, things will uh, pick up there Anyway, let's leave Iceland and let's go over to our um, next uh, location on the list. And uh, I already have it uh, kind of sort of uh, backed up a little bit uh, time-wise. And that is over to Sicily. And uh, you can see uh, the uh, clouds are moving in. Uh, Dr. Fox is going to uh, reboot my computer. Uh, uh, browser chat room uh, names are messed up. Um, yep, uh, Kevin, uh, reboot, and that is your best option. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, uh, Juliet uh, won't be uh, won't be sharing anymore, and uh, C and D boy uh, won't be uh, um, Sue. <laughs> oh, I know. Sometimes it's weird that it does that, but it is really odd. Um, I've seen it before. It's happened before. Others have noticed it. Um, anyway, uh, C&D Boy is here. Two-minute warning. Thanks, Sue Hayes. Appreciate that. Let's make this quick then. Um, my uh, uh, time lapse didn't work very well today, and I blame it on YouTube. Um, they had some weird things and buffering going on, and then all of a sudden I would be uh, moved a couple of hours, and, and I'm trying to figure out why or what it was doing anyway this was um, a Mount Etna this morning in Sicily you can see those uh, clouds just billowing away now the uh, time flips here and we actually see the same thing um, again for the second time um, just right around here somewhere it uh, goes over and does it so um, no big deal but I just it bugs me I like to have things uh, fairly accurate and I didn't notice this till afterwards, but it's it is what it is. So um, we're okay with that. Uh, buffalo overflows are a uh, fun, uh, fun, and um, yeah, buffalo got hit uh, really, really uh, bad. Um, what internet has been odd today, uh, Doctor Fox? 
Thanks, King Colin. And um, I kind of figured it, um, it's been doing weird things. Anyway, that was the, uh, the morning um, a video, and just uh, as a time lapse, of course. Um, fun to see all those clouds zipping across there. And uh, they are still there, but in a much heavier uh, format now. And uh, that is uh, what we're seeing. Um, where's my shoulder mouse? Uh, there we go. And um, I got my mouse back. Good. Oh, hang on. It should be show the hamster. I got a hamster. Uh, anyway, that's what we've got here. Uh, mouse without a tail, for those who don't know. Anyway, uh, there... Uh, there's what we were uh, seeing so I'm uh, pretty cool pretty awesome uh, levels are again still really haven't moved any from uh, kind of um, a low to a medium and uh, bouncing around in between there a little bit not much new uh, there at Mount Etna so um, that's uh, pretty much it for there anyway it is a time for me to uh, take another break or take my first break I'm going to uh, see if we can uh, turn that uh, canned lava back on. I can't remember which file I actually had on, but uh, we'll uh, turn something on here and turn uh, this one off. No, that wasn't the file. I know it wasn't, but I think we can probably uh, leave that one on as well and see what happens. It's about an hour uh, long can, so um, that's all right. We'll uh, leave that guy play uh, for the... Um, uh, in term and uh, let's see and uh, what's wrong with the uh, chart chat the chat oh um, yeah he had some weird things going on uh, do you think a browser uh, cache cache wall what did you do to your browser's cache yeah you should have used credit card that way you can always get a refund <laughs> Oh, never mind. Wrong cash. All right. Um, I'm going to leave it on there. For those good folks who are here, please, uh, if you haven't yet, hit that like button. Give it a big uh, bump for us. It really uh, does help out in the end. Of course, our goal is to reach over that uh, 100 mark. Then uh, that'll uh, make uh, the uh, YouTube analytics uh, go to work for us. Also, if you're sitting on the outside and you have not yet subscribed, um, by all means, uh, if you feel we've earned it, hit that subscribe button and uh, don't, for, uh, don't forget to hit the bell notification uh, while you're there. On that friendly note, I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And uh, I'm going to take a few minute break and I will be back. So um, don't go away. Keep smiling. Lots more show to come. Thanks. <laughs> I'm
and then microphone is back on. Welcome or welcome back, everyone. I'm glad to have you all on board. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, and you are watching Volcano X a live stream. And thank you for the welcome backs from Alba Girl and Sue Hayes, and uh, Juliet is here as well. Welcome, Juliet. Uh, just reading uh, back a little bit. Uh, thanks, uh, Kevin Haynes. Um, uh, with uh, that uh, computer problem uh, that you're having, um, there is a, a reboot center uh, very close by, and uh, I do believe I know where it is located, and I will uh, give you uh, directions on the screen, and uh, you may be um, able to uh, reboot it uh, very, very easily. Uh, thank you, uh, John Raper, as well, and uh, Kevin Williams, Kevin Haynes, and uh, anyway, a reboot center. Whoop! Uh, let's see if we can uh, get that working. And uh, right in uh, there, there's your reboot center. Um, and by all means, uh, set it in there. It will reboot it uh, for you. I promise, and uh, it'll work uh, just like brand new. <laughs> I uh, know your feelings, a uh, young man, and uh, sometimes uh, we have to wonder. Oh, uh, but uh, it's one of those things. Um, not trying to be a wise guy, but you know what it is. <laughs> anyway, oh, uh, I I had that same problem. Well, yesterday when I tried to redo my um, other stream, uh, I for the life of me could not get. Uh, i.e. to run those cameras uh, that we require for the other stream of course and it just wouldn't it wouldn't work and I thought to myself what the heck is going on and I rebooted and uh, of course and then it started working again so um, it's one of those things and we do have um, you know uh, the uh, reboot factor required as of late uh, there are so many updates and changes that the computers keep doing that um, it it's almost like you got to turn them off uh, at least uh, once a day if you're running them on a continuous basis and I know here of course streaming um, you know we, these things um, the 24 7 stream is on all the time so um, it, it's a real uh, pain uh, at times and I can understand uh, your troubles there uh, Kevin uh, but um, hopefully uh, things will get ironed out and um, will I continue uh, Curse Chaplin welcome I'm glad to have you on board and uh, let's see uh, did I miss anyone else who popped in here John Raper is also in uh, good to see you and I think we're good for right now. Let's um, see what else we can uh, come up with uh, trouble-wise. And, of course, uh, we'll leave our canned lava uh, there at... Um, um, that, of course, is the uh, Siggy Fisher uh, from uh, way back when, I do believe, uh, August the 15th uh, was the date of that file. And anyway, let's go to the Azores and we'll see what we've got uh, cooking there. And uh, of course, uh, there we can see uh, some bright lights. Uh, this is the harbor that's all lit up. A little uh, town site here. And we are on the island of uh, Sao George uh, or uh, Sao Jorge. And uh, that is in uh, Portuguese. And of course, you see some extra lights off in the distance here. And uh, that is Pico Island. That's about 18 kilometers in between the two islands, and uh, that is uh, where it is over there. For those who aren't familiar with it, um, oh, um, wrong picture, uh, that is this one. Uh, there's your uh, harbor uh, down in front, the uh, town site on the uh, right-hand side there, and of course you see uh, Pico Island with uh, the uh, big uh, Pico Volcano on top of it, uh, a.k.a. Mount Montana. Anyway, and that is uh, Pico Island. If we uh, go to uh, the other uh, shot here, we see that uh, here in the cove we're not seeing too much white water, uh, telling us the uh, ocean is a lot calmer. Um, and of course, uh, that is the other picture. That's this one here. Uh, so uh, you guys get the uh, general idea that um, it is uh, still there, still doing its thing. So. Um, nothing major going on but let's take a look and see what we've had for quakes today 
and we will uh, take a look there's only uh, the two that I can see there actually I need to make that a little bigger and uh, there we go 2.3 uh, 605 a.m. for that guy and then uh, the other one is a 1.7 from 1932 and uh, those are the uh, two that are on a uh, sale George of course on uh, this map is only a uh, for sale George and uh, we'll uh, kind of uh, not worry about that we're gonna pop over to the other map we'll uh, take a look there and need to refresh that though and uh, then we can see uh, what else is in the area if uh, there are any others and uh, I don't believe uh, there are today at least I didn't see any earlier and uh, there we go we're actually seeing uh, three of them on here uh, but uh, this one 16 hours ago 2.4 uh, two hours ago and 11 minutes uh, 1.7 and uh, the uh, 23 hours ago uh, 0.9 and that uh, that one uh, probably is well it's a surface quake but uh, that's kind of from yesterday and we're not going to worry about that one I think we might have uh, taken a look at that already uh, sliding down here uh, just to take a look that 2.47 kilometers down for him and uh, the uh, 1.7 would have been a surface quake as well that's it for the Azores let's get it back to uh, the uh, front screen here and uh, the right size and uh, that should do it if it works maybe or am I clicking things too quickly um, I am clicking things too quickly. How about that? That worked. Okay, uh, so um, we'll uh, leave that uh, there. And uh, we'll uh, pop over. Too much buffering. Oh, well, uh, my bits are coming out at the right pace here. So I can't help your buffering on your end. Um, I'm transmitting the signal within spec a uh, well within spec today so uh, that is good um hopefully uh, your buffering uh, will uh, clear up there philomena and uh, let's uh, pop over to uh, popo cate petal in uh, mexico and uh, see what uh, popo cate petal is doing and it's of course oh uh, i hadn't switched yet it's uh, sitting in a uh, uh, proper uh, volcano gray shade as uh, per normal uh, but uh, we can go back a little ways um, let's see about here will work and uh, that is about eight hours and uh, 13 minutes ago 728 a.m. is uh, what we were seeing uh, just right after that we started to see a little bit of a eruption uh, some pluming coming out of there with some uh, fairly uh, dirty uh, ash and everything else within that cloud uh, some uh, tephra material and uh, nothing nothing too too serious though uh, from uh, what I recall when I seen it and um, we'll uh, back up a little bit more um, uh, let's see if we go back uh, thank you uh, Colin uh, stay well uh, thanks uh, I will definitely try to do that uh, thank you for the uh, five uh, pound super chat that's awesome Colin and uh, appreciate the uh, support and uh, by the way uh, honey and Pepsi um, don't go well together um, the honey and the tea does though and I don't mind that I actually had one of them um, last night so uh, maybe that's what did it the honey and the tea ah. mm, things that make you go hmm Anyway, uh, backing up a little bit more into uh, the uh, night uh, to about um, ten and a half hours ago or so. It was uh, very starry there, and, and that looked awesome. I um, looked at that and I said, hey, you know, that is really, really good. Oh, hey, we just seen a meteor. I don't know if you guys uh, caught that. Uh, let me uh, back it up about ten seconds. You'll see it uh, streaking down here. There it is. Uh, right where my mouse was and uh, we should be able to see it again yep uh, so uh, that is pretty cool and uh, of course uh, that is all still part of the uh, Leonid's uh, meteor shower and uh, that was uh, really cool to see that and uh, awesome <laughs> anyway uh, beautiful uh, clear sky there uh, during uh, the uh, morning hours 
if we uh, go back a little bit more, uh, we can actually. And, uh, and we uh, didn't see a heck of a lot of pluming, uh, but uh, this is earlier in the uh, night uh, from uh, 247. We do see a glow coming from uh, the uh, caldera up top there on Mount uh, Popocate Plateau. And uh, there is a little bit of activity. It is bubbling, uh, but we uh, don't see um, too much else happening there. I'm just advancing it uh, five seconds at a time so you can see the a um, uh, little bit of um, smoke coming out of there. And it really wasn't all that much. And um, there we go. So that's kind of it for there. We aren't seeing a heck of a lot more activity there. Um, today uh, there were a few pops, but really nothing uh, nothing wild that uh, I would worry about or want to write home about. Um, you know, hang on, there's, yeah, this is just clouds uh, building up around things. So um, the other thing is it is white and it is uh, uh, covered in uh, powdered sugar once again. Uh, we uh, do see that. Hey, Wormhand is here. Welcome. Uh, glad to have you on board. So, a uh, little dusting of uh, snow on uh, Popo Cathay Petal. And if we uh, move ahead, of course, then it ends up in the clouds and we don't see it at all. So, we'll uh, leave that on live. We will uh, go over to, um, go south a little bit, over to a uh, Fuego. And uh, aren't those beautiful fluffy clouds? You can uh, hop right over them and get over to the volcano, which is located over there somewhere. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's uh, take a look and see if we can uh, find that guy at all in here. Um, I Oh, I think I spotted him. And uh, this is about um, nine hours ago. Uh, 6.41 a.m. And we uh, do see a little bit of an eruption there. But really nothing super, super major. Um, not like what it was doing before. Um, I haven't actually seen too many. Mind you, this thing has been in the clouds quite a bit as of late. So uh, very, very hard to uh, tell how much it was erupting. Uh, we uh, do know it is still a very active volcano though. And uh, here's another one. Uh, this is at uh, just about 7 a.m gets into the clouds but there should be an eruption uh, in here somewhere uh, there it is and um, you can see it uh, pluming out uh, the uh, cloud moved enough uh, that we could see that but uh, really uh, it, it was horrible uh, viewing for the most part um, actually let's uh, go here uh, this is a little uh, better uh, for a little while anyway and not uh, for too long and uh, about here there's another one and, and that is a little uh, quicker looks looks more normal in uh, that shot uh sounds yummy hermian what did hum uh, hermian make oh she's eating cookies uh stuffing peppers and uh, lurking oh uh oh uh, tom hide pepper uh, uh. <laughs> Hermian stuffing pepper as uh, peppers, so you better uh, hide pepper, uh, Tom, if you're there. And uh, anyway, <laughs> never mind, a bad humor. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind some stuffed peppers. Actually, I I've had some that were, um, and I don't know um, exactly what all they put them uh, put in them. But they they had hamburger in there with uh, that was fried with onions and spices. And uh, then it was uh, topped off with uh, mozzarella cheese. And I think uh, they uh, put some, um, um, not uh, uh, croutons, but uh, uh, just crumbs. I maybe crushed croutons over top and then the melt of the cheese on top. Uh, this, uh, uh, not his pepper? Oh, come on, Hermian, good thing. I'm glad uh, you uh, clarified that. <laughs> Oh, let's uh, go to our next little uh, uh, pop or eruption, and uh, that was about here. And um, this is uh, still visible, and of course uh, that is at 8 at 49 a.m., 8.50, somewhere thereabouts, and you can see it uh, pluming out of there again, um, out of um, Fuego. And of course, uh, Fuego is in uh, Central, uh, uh, Central America, in uh, Guatemala. 
and uh, yeah albert girl uh, i'm making myself hungry i shouldn't do that when i'm doing the show <laughs> you know there's certain things that you eat and uh, they were really really tasty uh, i also had some tomatoes like that and um, the same guy did that with uh, instead of uh, using uh, peppers he used uh, tomatoes and uh, that was really tasty as well and I thought holy mackerel this guy can cook you know there's some uh, some people just have talents they understand how to put those um, wonderful uh, things together oh I see my um, my screen just popped up here and said uh, windows updates wow I just updated this thing yesterday <laughs> Why does it need another update today? Ah, Windows, Windows, Windows. It's no wonder things aren't working. Uh, Windows has gone wacky. And um, they have to update the updates, which are updating the updates, of course. Um, King Colin, uh, no, hang on, Kevin, uh, Kevin Haynes. Um, maybe you need to update again. <laughs> oh it's it's uh, strikingly uh funny but uh, also uh, painful anyway uh, we uh, do see a few more uh, puffs uh, going on and off uh, during the uh, um, cloudy periods and then uh, coming back uh, to um, normal periods but you see these uh, clouds do come back in fairly quick and uh, then we lose uh, sight of it and of course uh, it turns um, to mostly volcano gray uh, here's another uh, point in time from uh, 15, 29, or 26, uh, my bad. I had uh, 29 written down here, but um, yeah, there. That's actually a pretty nasty uh, shot upward. Lots and lots of uh, darkish uh, material in there, so a lot of ash falling down, tephra, all kinds of um, larger uh, particles and uh, I wouldn't want to be too darn close to that thing when it uh, uh, is uh, doing its thing. Yeah, the Gremlin updates, uh, you got it, uh, Hermian. And uh, yeah, this thing uh, did uh, do a fairly good job on uh, that one. You can see uh, by all the, uh, the uh, dust here that a lot of that material did actually uh, end up uh, coming off the hill. Uh, rolling uh, down the side of it so uh, pretty pretty cool and we uh, know it was uh, going but uh, like I say uh, it was in the clouds quite a bit oh I see actually here in the uh, uh, further in the clouds we do see some er uh, eruptive activity I missed this from before uh, this was uh, just recently you know you're you're flying along in your jet plane uh, through the clouds and all of a sudden you see that that's a little scary, eh? It's like a monster sticking his head out of the clouds. Uh, but, uh, and you don't want to go through it with your airplane because that's not good. Thank you, Kevin Haynes, for the four minute warning. Anyway, we uh, do see a couple of those. Uh, there's another uh, puff right after that. And uh, that brings us to uh, just about live again with this thing. So uh, we'll uh, leave it there and uh, that is uh, pretty good and we uh, see what it's doing let's go over to uh, well we'll uh, do Ruapehu uh, before we do uh, the uh, next one and that is Mount Ruapehu and uh, while we can't see much of it it is hiding behind the clouds if we back up a little bit I don't think it was uh, all that visible today and uh, there you go I'm not uh, seeing it and uh, going back uh, there we go this uh, could be better you can almost see it uh, behind the clouds and uh, there it is in uh, the uh, the middle there let's see if we can uh, back it up a little more and uh, get cloudless um, well almost uh, it is there you guys and that is Mount Ruapehu and um, our wonderful uh, um, New Zealand uh, the Kiwi states <laughs> Anyway, uh, that is uh, what we've got going on down there. It wasn't uh, all that uh, great weather-wise, but I'm sure it's better than uh, what they had yesterday. At least you can see some blue sky right now, uh, or at that point in time you could. And um, there's some more clouds back over it in the wee hours of the morning. Let's put it uh, back to live. That's what uh, is uh, moving in now. I'm sure they uh, don't want that. 
let's uh, pop over to our purple volcano and uh, that is a Merapi and uh, if a Merapi don't make you happy um, just look at the screen and it'll be a purple that's a very happy color right <laughs> anyway uh, let's uh, back that up a little bit and we'll see if it'll uh, turn gray there it goes uh, anyway, I'm not uh, seeing too much of Merapi. It's uh, cloud covered. Uh, even uh, when we go back uh, quite a ways, 3.17 a.m., it had a heck of a lenticular cloud sitting on top of it and uh, looked uh, pretty awesome, but it's really not that great because it's uh, nighttime, right? And there, uh, this is uh, from a 1.53 a.m that lenticular cloud was still just starting to form up top here you can kind of see it uh, but no lava visible and that is um, a disappointment uh, if we uh, go back a little bit more and uh, without uh, clouds we see uh, that there was actually stars out and uh, not uh, bad looking i'm wondering what these lines are that must be must be a reflection of some sort happening uh, from his camera and uh, going uh, back a little more uh, we do see it uh, was back in the clouds and uh, you know like when we see this kind of thing um yeah you know it's not going to be a good day to uh, go watch the volcano let's put it back to here and of course uh, that you can see the uh, the off gassing and stuff it's hard to tell when they've got these different colors and I mean it is 5 a.m. there so it's not daylight yet that's the sunrise happening and of course and that it really messes with the uh, camera's uh, sensors if you're a little uh, too uh, far saturated it's just going to do that anyway uh, that is um, what it is uh, there right now I am going to go take a break though and uh, Philomena says okay I have to say uh, bye everyone uh, this uh, stream uh, didn't like me uh, too much buffering uh, no point of watching it all right uh, Philomena I hope uh, you can uh, figure out uh, your uh, little dilemma there with the uh, buffering issue and uh, things will come back and again maybe uh, your computer or device may need to uh, reboot as well um, it's yeah, seems to be the season and uh, we'll see what happens uh, hopefully uh, you'll have better success uh, later and uh, let's uh, put it back on the uh, canned lava I'm going to uh, go take that break and uh, when we get back th from the break we will have bacon seeds so uh, that'll be awesome anyway uh, for those good people who are here if you haven't yet hit that um, uh, thumbs up please uh, give us a, a thumbs up and help us out also if uh, you haven't uh, yet subscribed consider subscribing and uh, don't forget to hit that uh, bell notification of course that's if you feel we've earned it anyway on uh, that um, friendly note I'm your host on Dr. Fox 2000 here in Edmonton Alberta Canada I'm going to be back in about five or six minutes and uh, I'll put on some friendly music uh, for you in the meantime and um, hopefully uh, that'll work <laughs> I'll be back
Okay, that song is not working. Uh, maybe it's something on the uh, internet uh, is uh, wanting to reboot or something is going on that is uh, fishy. Normally I play my wonderful tune and it's not, not working. I try to, uh, I have it loaded in several places and neither, uh, neither one would uh, work and I couldn't find it in the other uh, player list here. So I'm kind of wondering what the heck is going on. Anyway, welcome or welcome back, everyone. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, and you're watching Volcano X live stream. Uh, Eagle Angels uh, asking, uh, where is this at? Uh, this is uh, uh, actually uh, uh, Siggy Fisher, and uh, that is in uh, the uh, northern, northwestern uh, part of. Meridalier Valley in Iceland and that uh, particular file that we're looking at was from uh, August 15th uh, so you know anyway I see a few more people popped in uh, welcome and uh, Tom True Love also here Gred Zed and uh, welcome as well uh, glad to have you guys on board and uh, hopefully uh, that uh, answers uh, your question there eagle eyes uh okay uh, well uh, thanks uh, for uh, uh tuning into uh, dr fox oh yeah uh, thank you uh, we do appreciate that that is awesome anyway we did promise bacon seeds and uh of course uh, this if you're new uh, may be a little confusing <laughs> let's uh go over here and, and see uh, what our wonderful uh, piggy has sent us today and of course uh piggy was uh, busy uh, see, there she is, uh, sending stuff again. Anyway, uh, let's uh, carry on and take a look and see uh, what she sent uh, for bacon seeds. And uh, there is uh, the first one, racing stripes. And uh, I think all of these have racing stripes today. Um, uh, oh, you like to see uh, volcanoes and little pigs. All right. Well, you're uh, you're in good for uh, good hands. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, let's uh, take a look at this one, and um, I think that's not a edible a chew toy. Uh, somebody has got to tell that person that. I'm sure the little piggy will mind, but, um, you know, you're going to end up with a fur ball or something. Besides, I don't think he needs to eat. Uh, his uh, belly looks uh, full enough. So let's carry on. We'll see our next uh, bacon seed, and i uh, got to love these, though. And uh, uh, Piggy, of course, uh, does uh, such a wonderful uh, job in sending these in. And this little guy uh, looks uh, pretty cool, too. Again, another one with racing stripes, only he's going for the mud bath uh, this time. Uh, really uh, cool. And uh, you got to love it. And I wonder how they, um, they like wallowing in the mud when they're small little pigs like that. I wonder uh, who gives them that idea. It must be something that's carried on in their jeans. Uh, wait, they aren't wearing jeans. Uh, they got fur coats. Okay, never mind. And uh, this one is kind of looking at the other one going, Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, I see you. And uh, they're having a conversation. So uh, pretty cool, pretty awesome. Uh, gotta love the, uh, the bacon seeds, you guys. And here's a whole herd of little Bambies with racing stripes on them. Uh, these are, of course, they look like wild pigs and just have scrambled eggs. Oh, uh, that's good. Uh, did you have bacon with it? And uh, <laughs> uh, that'll uh, work out. And let's uh, continue on and see what else we've got here for bacon seeds. And uh, let's uh, take a look. Uh, don't go uh, bacon my heart. Oh, uh, I'm sure you guys have heard that song, Don't Go Bake In My Heart. Oh, hang on. Uh, is it Breaking My Heart? Well, in this case, uh, Don't Go Bake In My Heart. And uh, we got to like it. It's a little bit on the punny side, you guys. So, so there you go. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's a real uh, bit of uh, bacon. Anyway, um, coolness. Uh, good morning, my dear. And uh, I don't know. Uh, is this I, like uh, Elton Piggy John? Uh, I have no idea. If, <laughs> uh, 
uh, it's a hippie piggy, uh, maybe, uh, wearing beads and uh, uh, heart-shaped glasses. Uh, pretty awesome. And uh, let's uh, get uh, to our last one. Um, or uh, they have no chance. Who's got no chance? <laughs> uh, puzzles of uh, pigs, piggies. Uh, yeah. And uh, here's our last guy. I uh, woke up this morning, uh, looked uh, down, and uh, one of my toes was missing. Uh, there was a note stuck to my foot that said, gone to the market. Uh, groaner. <laughs> and uh, for those who didn't quite get that, you know, this little piggy went to market, uh, this little piggy stayed home, and uh, this little piggy had roast beef, and uh, never mind. All right, that's it for our little bacon seeds, you guys. Uh, we will uh, continue on here. And uh, thank you uh, for uh, the groaner. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've gone to market. You got to love it. Anyway, let's have a look at Semaru. And that is uh, Semaru in the early morning hours, 5.13 uh, to be exact. Their time, this is live. And uh, that is what it looks like uh, there right now. And uh, if we uh, go back. Well, uh, first off, let's just describe it a little bit. We do see quite a bit of a cloud on top here, but we also see in the background there's quite a bit of uh, cloudiness uh, popping along. This thing has uh, been in and out of the clouds um, in the last 12 hours quite a bit. Um, and, of course, uh, being uh, 5.13 in the morning, if we back up just a little bit, we uh, see uh, what we've got. There we go. Uh, actually, it looked a little better earlier, and... Um, it's almost almost like it's trying to hold that cloud in but we did see a little bit of a plume shooting out at the top and obviously it is still in a very eruptive state so I'm uh, pretty cool to see that and uh, yeah you can see that plume on all three uh, views here so I'm uh, pretty awesome and uh, of course uh, you can see uh, not so much water in our uh, a driveway here uh, that uh, the uh, guys always uh, zip through with their vehicles so uh, looking uh, pretty good uh, for them for right now if we uh, go back a little bit in time uh, we uh, go into uh, the uh, the abyss of the night and um, it uh, didn't look too bad as far as clouds uh, for a while we do see a little bit of um, a lighting up up top here a little uh, bacon and you can see that on uh, two of these cameras, actually all three, just a little bit though. And uh, that is uh, what we're seeing and um, looks uh, pretty uh, neat with those stars in the background. I'd love to be down there looking at that. And uh, let's uh, back up a little bit more, see if there's uh, more lava. Well, you can see a little bit of glow here in this shot. So uh, definitely something uh, lighting up up top and uh, there's activity in the caldera we don't see it in the uh, color shot though um, the black and white definitely showing uh, what's going on if we uh, go back a little bit more and uh, you can actually see a glow of uh, red goodness uh, up there in the caldera and of course here it looks a uh, white and uh, this one as well uh, looking uh, pretty red uh, so we know it's continuing to um, be active. Of course, uh, this is um, Semeru, and uh, that is located in East Java on uh, uh, Jaffa Island, Indonesia, uh, for uh, those who are not familiar with it. Um, quick peek. I want to just uh, check and see. Uh, I do this all the time, and I want to make sure that they don't have Krakatau showing and uh, no they don't so we can't uh, go there and uh, that's kind of what we've got uh, happening there next uh, volcano on our list of course is uh, uh, heading over uh, to um, uh, Sakurajima in uh, Japan actually yeah let's uh, do Sakurajima we'll uh, try to get on to uh, that page uh, it was better before it looked a little bit friendlier a little while ago 
and a lot clearer. So as the uh, sun starts to hit the uh, the water, all uh, everything seems to evaporate and create fog. But uh, this was uh, what it was like uh, 6 at 54 a.m. And we uh, do see some uh, clouds here as well as some off gassing from the volcano and uh, during uh, the night it wasn't um, anything really spectacular every once in a while you could see a little bit of a glow but uh, you didn't see it in that shot and uh, i'm just wondering where the heck it was and then i did see it and that was a bunch of hours ago i think though and it might have been here no nope. Anyway, um, pretty cloudy uh, for the most part, so visibility wasn't all that great. And I did see a glow in here at one point uh, in uh, somewhere around eight hours ago, so maybe it's it's hiding. And uh, there should be, whoop, go back a little bit. Uh, anyway, it was right in here. I don't see it now. Now you can see a little bit of a, a red tinge there but it's really not doing anything really really major we can leave that on uh, live right now quick peek let's have a look and see if uh, there is an ice cream boat there I checked a few minutes ago and there wasn't but uh, I seen the one heading out and uh, going away the other one just got in so I'm uh, pretty awesome and uh, good to see you can always go get an ice cream if you need La Palma is active with lava now? Uh-oh. Are you kidding me? La Palma active with lava? Um, Tom, that is interesting. Um, first, I've heard it. Um, let me uh, take a look at a couple things uh, really quickly here. And uh, we want to uh, take a look at uh, the uh, uh, chart here and uh, to see... Um, La Palma being active with lava. Um, who, uh, Tom, who is showing that? Um, I'm just curious um, because um, that doesn't make a lot of sense that it's uh, active. There's no indicators that it would be uh, going off right now. And uh, are you sure it's uh, there? because uh, we'll definitely have to uh, find uh, find out uh, what's going on if there is um, uh, it could be a repeat of old stuff though uh, that's what I'm thinking uh, La Palma is uh, very quiet at the moment uh, is a very uh, yeah quite quiet um, yeah uh, looking at uh, La Palma I'll uh, try to find it. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, because here's the uh, earthquake map. We would have seen a tremendous amount of uh, quakes uh, popping in if it uh, was doing something. And uh, today there's only been uh, two earthquakes uh, right up, uh, you know, roughly where the one is uh, pretty close to Cumbre Vieja. The other one is a little uh, further to the uh, north. But I don't think uh, that is uh, what we're doing. Uh, I was just watching it. it. It did say live. Okay. Um, well, Tom, if it uh, is in fact live, uh, we'll have to uh, try to uh, find out what's going on. And um, uh, I'm wondering if uh, somebody else... Uh, and that was here on YouTube, was it? Uh, that's what I'm kind of wondering about. Uh I'm just going to uh, check and see if uh, there is anything current going on. Um, I see uh, stuff from uh, one year ago. Um, not seeing anything. Uh, hmm. No, I'm not seeing anything in the uh, news here. Uh, I don't know. That's. Um, I'm just uh, trying to find out from even uh, this week here. Um, I don't see anything happening there. Um, yeah, I know there were a bunch of people I'm working on fear mongering, and um, I don't want to mention the off grid desert farming guy that uh, was uh, doing that. Um, but um, I don't know. Uh, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So, um, 
um, it's archive of footage and that's what I thought I'll admit uh, to being wrong and well hey Tom uh, I've been duped before too okay uh, these guys they continue to do that and uh, they try to um, uh, and I, I hate to say this but they try to invoke fear it's fear mongering and it is just absolutely rude of them because what they're doing is they're creating and instilling fear on anyone that is there you know and uh, you know how would you uh, like to be told your house is going to get run over by lava uh, and even though there's nothing going on and you end up uh, being um, done you know uh, it, it's one of those things anyway uh, it just bothers me uh, when we uh, hear about that and it's really not fair you know somebody's got to stand up and say hey no don't do this uh, this is wrong and uh, we uh, we don't want to go there anyway uh, let's uh, get back over to our uh, <coughs> Sakura Jima in Japan and um, all is uh, good at uh, showing footage uh, yeah and the Sue that is correct but you know the thing is at least he does label his um, pretty uh, pretty well so uh, it is one of those things anyway um, we uh, do see uh, in uh, Japan it is a uh, calm down a bunch as far as uh, activity from uh, Sakura Jima and uh, we'll uh, leave that be. Let's have a quick uh, look at uh, the other ones. Okay, we don't have a crater close-up view, uh, but uh, we do have ASO. And uh, ASO, of course, also in uh, Japan, up on the, uh, the big hills here. Uh, we uh, can't see it right now, very cloudy weather. And uh, unfortunately, it uh, didn't uh, show very well uh, because of the clouds. So I don't think we can really make any assumptions or reports on it today um, unless we want to invoke fear mongering and say, yeah, there's lava coming out of there. <laughs> no, there's not. Anyway, um, that's uh, kind of what we got. Hey, look, it's a horse. I did not. I think it's a horse of a different color uh, right there. At least that's what it looks like looks like a horse to me I don't know um, can anyone confirm that is it a horse <laughs> anyway uh, that is uh, what we've got going on and uh, let's um, continue on here and uh, see uh, what else we've got in our lineup for uh, volcanoes and stuff let's go over and to um, um, tall is uh, not on right now so we won't uh, look at tall volcano but we can look at this thing and of course and this is Yellowstone National Park and you are looking at Old Faithful and putting on a show uh, steaming mad at dirt and uh, that is uh, pretty cool and um, let's see I just want to uh, see something here uh, weather Yellowstone and uh, we'll see uh, what is going on at Yellowstone and um, yep minus six degrees Celsius 21 Fahrenheit 11 miles per hour a wind or 18 kilometers per hour uh, humidity 49 percent so they are definitely cold there and uh, um, CND boy you forgot the W ah, it's all quiet at La Palma thanks uh, cursed and uh, that's kind of what I thought. There's nothing going on. And uh, no, as uh, Tom mentioned, uh, he was uh, duped. And, um, you know, just like me, just like everybody else in here, we go to uh, some of these um, and, you know, when they're indicating live, that's what we're thinking is, hey, it's supposed to be live. What's going on, right? So... Um, always uh, try to read the fine print uh, before we get uh, sucked in. <laughs> uh, wonky donkey, welcome and uh, good to see you. Uh, anyway, a Yellowstone um, clickbait. Yep, uh, that's exactly it, Cursed. And uh, that is what uh, they are doing. And um, I should do that too. 
I get lots of clickbait. Um, I got lots of lava, canned lava for clickbait. Anyway, uh, there you can see Yellowstone National Park. And of course, uh, it looks uh, not bad. Um, they are popping around with the uh, cameras, but you can see a lot of snow and ice and stuff. And uh, of course, uh, some of the uh, open areas here. Um, this is uh, the beehive. Oh, um, we switched already. And uh, I'd expect the horses uh, to be here. Um, maybe we can uh, get the uh, Japanese horse. Wait, what is that? Is that a buffalo? Uh, might be a buffalo. It could be a buffalo over there. Or a bush. I have no idea. Uh, but anyway, we do see all those geysers. There are over 500 active geysers there. And uh, in uh, Yellowstone. And you can go to this website. Uh, c and D boy I did bring it up uh, by typing in Yellowstone. And uh, if you uh, like uh, Yellowstone Park or want some information on it, that is the place to go. And they do have maps and uh, actually even uh, maps uh, showing you where the cameras are pointed at um, and when they point in certain directions. And it shows you all the different uh, geyser names. So uh, pretty cool, pretty awesome. And uh, let's uh, carry on uh, to our next one. Uh, one minute uh, warning. Uh, thanks, uh, 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 Juliet. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to get my my boogie woogie uh, to uh, play. It's on here too. I wonder if it'll play in here. No, apparently it can't find it anymore. That's really really strange. <laughs> And uh, I'll have to see if I can uh, load it up uh, during uh, the break. And uh, we'll uh, go from there. But uh, anyway, uh, that is Yellowstone uh, National Park, you guys. And uh, I'm going to uh, go uh, take a look at... Um, uh, will I get you back onto uh, the uh, canned lava? And of course, uh, this. Uh, I wore it out. Uh, that could be, Sue. I uh, really think I might have. But um, I just got to find it again. Uh, that's all there's to it. Um, yeah, I'm going to delete it uh, from here. And uh, see why the heck it's uh, not working. We're going to have to find it real fast. Uh, audio file. There we go. And uh, go into uh, downloads. And, of course, they've got them listed up way different than what I see before um, why do they do that oh boy I don't even see it in here in the list oh I do there it is and uh, we'll open that and see if hey that works holy macaroni But it won't let me open it up. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> that is weird. Uh, it won't allow me into the file, uh, but it brings it up new. Hmm. Uh, it is uh, really, really strange. Yona! Welcome, Yona from Iceland. I'm uh, glad to have you on board. And uh, you uh, caught us uh, just at uh, break time. So uh, be good. And uh, I'm going to go for a break. And uh, Yona knows exactly where this is. Uh, that's not too far from her house. And uh, she, uh, if she had a slingshot, she could shoot uh, rocks into it. Anyway, uh, maybe a little a bit further. Anyway, I'll uh, be back in a few minutes, you guys. I, uh, continue to stick around, and uh, I will uh, be back. Keep smiling. Be good. And uh, here comes some uh, music. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000. I'm back soon.
and the microphone is back on wow wow okay and that was adventuresome i tried to turn that down i tried to get into the file it wouldn't allow me to go into the file it's not allowing me to go into any of the uh, files <laughs> yeah, it's really really strange yo piggy and uh, welcome piggy glad to have you on board thank you for the uh, welcome back i'm from a uh, sue and uh, welcome back, Socks. Uh, thanks, uh, John Raper. I didn't uh, realize I was uh, Socks, uh, but uh, all cool. And uh, thanks, Albert Girl and uh, John uh, John Raper and uh, Kananaska's Country. All good. Uh, so, um, yep, uh, Thistle number one, uh, definitely uh, the uh, the puppy of the day. Yona, welcome Yona from Iceland and uh, of course uh, Yona just said something and that is of interest and uh, we uh, do want to go uh, take a peek at it and uh, let's uh, take a look uh, real quick uh, there it is and uh, let's uh, zoom in this is out near Catlap and uh, that is uh, what we're seeing right now according to this uh, not uh, too far away uh, from Catlap itself and uh, there we've got a, a 3.25 and uh, that is um, 135 meters down according to them and that is at 2113 uh, is uh, when that came in so um, very very interesting and uh, thanks uh, for letting us uh, know about that uh, Yona uh, that is um, definitely uh, something uh, that we want to kind of keep an eye on and uh, let's uh, continue on here we uh, we're going to go over to hawaii and uh, see uh, what hawaii is doing i did not get a updated uh, picture from uh, last night or this morning so uh, we are going to uh, update this uh, this was from yesterday's show when we looked at it hopefully it'll update there we go and uh, it uh, is uh, looking uh, pretty funky right now actually uh, some uh, shadowing going on looks like we've got a thicker crust on here and uh, that uh, may have uh, thickened up a bunch but a lava tube feeds it from this end and you can see these uh, funky patterns as they uh, cool and get a little crispy on top and they uh, deform into all kinds of shapes and we uh, see some uh, bright spots right there and then also along here and of course that is around the edges where it is uh, draining and uh, what are you now a um, member of uh, the elite club uh, Sophie uh oh uh, Sophie uh, yeah <laughs> elite everybody in here is uh, all part of the uh, lava family so um, uh, we uh, don't don't have too many elites but anyway looking at the uh, toe area uh, we uh, do see uh, that is uh, down in lava level and of course you can see the um, the way the uh, crusting is happening and of course uh, right there is one of the uh, drain spots and then over here you can see some more red lava of course what uh, causes that is the gas bubbles are uh, bubbling up and um, as they bubble up um, the lava is draining downward uh, bubbles are hitting the um, the crusted over lava on top breaks the crust and uh, pops out and we can see where uh, that lava is so i'm um, pretty cool uh pop it uh, uh, pop it club uh, dr fox oh the pop it club and uh, that is cool and uh, next uh, shot of course is uh, this is still from yesterday let's see what it looks like uh, today and there you go uh, we uh, do see uh, some smoke up on the uh, side of the caldera walls there and in the back here uh, primary vent is right in here our little hornito uh, down there and of course at uh, the uh, lava pond and the tow area and uh, this uh, peaky looking thing here that is pig island and uh, that is uh, the oldest uh, island or floating piece of lava in there and if you look, you can kind of sort of see that big round circle. That whole thing is uh, between about two meters and about five or six meters thick as far as the uh, depth of that lava. And uh, that is um, all floating on top of a lava slash magma bed that is here in the caldera. And of course, 
that caldera is uh, to the uh, the bottom of the floor of that caldera is about uh, 470 feet roughly or um, uh, 143 meters so uh, that's approximately uh, the levels have changed a little bit so it's hard to tell right now exactly where it's at but uh, pretty close uh, let's uh, take a look uh, from uh, this side over uh, this way and uh, we will uh, take a look at that that's yesterday's I'm gonna refresh that as well there is today's a uh, very good shot of a uh, pig island uh, there uh, the uh, tow area a uh, little bit more visible today of course and um, the uh, lava pond and you can even see the opening uh, over there where the uh, lava tube is so uh, really nice to see that and of course uh, the smoke coming out of that hornito on the primary vent uh, right about there and uh, that primary vent is right along on the uh, caldera wall but way down low and uh, the reason it looks like it's uh, far away is because uh, the caldera of course it doesn't uh, go straight up it kind of um, tapers outward uh, just like any other uh, good bowl would <laughs> anyway and that is uh, what we've got going on there quick uh, peek at the thermal that's yesterday's gonna refresh that and we'll uh, took, take a look at uh, what it looks like now and it actually does look like it's a little bit warmer in that caldera uh, because we can see more light material around the edges so maybe we do have uh, some uh, new magma happening anyway primary vent right there hornito here the lava tube is underneath all this and then uh, you can see your lava pond and the uh, tow area and of course uh, the uh, really dark spot here pig island and then the uh, spot behind it that's been heating up but you can uh, notice there is a lot of heat around the edges so either uh, things are sinking down pushing up against the lava or we've got an increase in lava going to uh, pop uh, through there uh, soon uh let's uh, leave that guy be we'll go over to a uh, mauna loa which is uh, the other one and uh, that is what the uh, picture of mauna loa was yesterday let's uh, take a look at today a bigger brighter beautiful sunshine and uh, we have uh, the uh the tractor beam from the UFOs inspecting rocks again. Uh, pretty awesome. I'm kidding. Um, that's the uh, it's a glare from the sun. And that is uh, pretty cool. With its uh, two kites here. And uh, they were in our previous pictures as well. Anyway, uh, that is one very, very large caldera. And that is Mauna Loa. Uh, Mauna Loa looks better today. It does. It is. It's it's looking like it's got spaceships <laughs> anyway uh, for those good people who are here um, we're going to refresh this and see if we have um, a better uh, shot uh, for today that was uh, yesterday by the way if you uh, don't have uh, this map um, you can uh, always uh, get that by typing in uh, hawaii map all one word and uh, that will uh, bring up the link uh, for this usgs uh, site and you can um, um, peruse it on your own. It just shows you all the uh, sensors and everything that are in the uh, area there and uh, where the cameras are located and the like. And uh, here we go. Uh, this is the uh, new thermal image uh, from today. And uh, that is uh, pretty awesome looking. Uh, so um, not bad. We see some uh, weird, uh, weird clouds in the background. Of course, uh, they have the uh, camera set. This is not lava, just so you understand that. This is uh, rock. And the uh, camera setting, of course, is uh, such that the, um, uh, the lighter stuff here is actually uh, some dark rock that's being heated up by the sun. Uh, same thing uh, with everything that you see in the caldera. And then, of course, the uh, purplish stuff that is cooler clouds and uh, that is um, why it's different color it's just the way they've got their setting on there so it uh, looks uh, pretty cool pretty awesome and um, temperatures are of course on the side here if you want to look at them and uh, kind of measure them and um, we uh, see that some of the rocks are showing very very uh, uh, whitish and uh, that would put you way up on the uh, top of the chart here so uh, temperature wise uh, some of that lava has actually heated up from the sun 
anyway let's I'll leave that be we'll pop over and take a look at the earthquakes that we've had today and uh, of course I will uh, start out with Hawaii since and that is uh, the place we were at there of course is your Hawaiian island chain in the Pacific Ocean and uh, as we uh, zoom in a little bit we uh, see some weirdish uh, stuff already and this one is uh, from uh, yesterday 1845 I do believe we had a look at that 2.8 14.7 kilometers down for him so uh, some of these because we're starting earlier uh, some of these will uh, be kind of reruns uh, from yesterday but uh, nonetheless we'll uh, go through them and of course uh, looking at what we've got here in the Pahala area uh, most of these are between 26 and 37 kilometers down so we're not going to mention the uh, depth anyway uh, this uh, 1.8 yesterday's 23 43 for him and then uh, getting on to the land 1.8 uh, from today 3:40 a.m uh, for uh, that guy and uh, then we've got another 1.8 at 406 a.m and uh, then we've got a 2.2 from 131 uh, this morning hawaii time of course uh 2.0 from 217 a.m and then uh, getting over a little more 2.5 that's yesterday's from 1940 and then we have a 2.6 from today and that is at 5 15 a.m sliding over a little bit looking at these other guys uh, these ones out in the water here 1.8 and that is at 4 uh, 46 a.m then we've got a 2.0 from uh, 20 uh, sorry 1250 and uh, there we go and uh, then this one 2.3 from uh, 2 uh, 2 what is it 204 there we go got it out at 204 a.m and uh, that was too early for me <laughs> anyway uh, let's uh, have a quick uh, peek up here on Mauna Loa we only see uh, the one uh, that is right underneath the caldera and uh, or the uh, flow path here 1.9 and that was yesterday's at 2055 and um, we won't worry about him uh, this one looks newish and again this is just basically um, an area that is kind of on the edge of the whole caldera and if there's any uplift or anything we're going to see some quakes there and we only see one today uh, that's uh, from a 323 and that's a 2.0 and it is just about at the surface and uh, says a uh, minus 3.5 kilometers that means 3.5 kilometers above a uh, sea level so a uh, very close uh, to uh, being up here on the surface uh, sliding over a little more we uh, do see uh, this one uh, from today as well at uh, 1432 3.5 kilometers below sea level and that is uh, what we've got there and uh, zooming in a little bit more um, what the heck are the triangles all about let's look at the red one first uh, 2.1 and uh, that was from a 1459 two kilometers below sea level and then i will grab this guy over here 1.0 uh, five minutes after midnight 4.5 kilometers below sea level and then uh, this 1.5 that is uh uh, from a yesterday at 2349 which was uh, 1.8 kilometers below sea level what the heck are these and uh, magnitude uh, 2.4 uh, why are they showing them like that I don't know anyway uh, eight uh, minutes after midnight 5.3 kilometers uh, below sea level and then we've got this guy here a 2.5 from yesterday at 2313 and, and that was 12.9 kilometers below sea level so and um, that is uh, what we see uh, for our wonderful uh, Kilauea today uh, so uh, nothing happening on Mauna Loa and uh, nothing happening on Kilauea that's going to scare us uh, no imminent eruption uh, at this point uh, this 1.9 I don't know if I mentioned it it was from a 1432 at uh, today uh, 3.5 kilometers below sea level there we go zooming out a little bit uh, let's uh, look at the uh, rest of the planet and uh, have a uh, quick peek 
and uh, we'll actually hang on what's this way up here we have a 4.1 up here in the uh, Beaufort Sea and that's Canadian area and uh, that is from uh, 12 11 uh, today 11.5 kilometers down unusual uh, to see that but it is there and uh, we uh, slide over here and we see uh, the um, uh, Wanda Fuca plate uh, right there 3.4 off the coast of uh, Oregon uh, quite a ways out and uh, that is from 5:21 a.m. 10 kilometers down and uh, right where it's sitting I don't know I don't think it would have uh, caused any major issues or anything like that I'm surprised we're still seeing a more here in Texas a 4.0 again from 3:03 a.m. 7.5 kilometers down and uh, there's that you know where we've had how many quakes already that is just weird and um, I do wonder if it might be fracking because we do have a bunch of uh, drill uh, spots here and uh, I'm wondering if um, maybe they've sucked too much oil out of there uh, who knows uh, but something is causing all that and uh, that would be um, hmm a question mark anyway not going to worry about that for uh, right now we do see a uh, continuance uh, here in um, uh, Puerto Rico um, but we also have uh, down uh, Central America uh, in uh, Panama a uh, 4.1 and that was from uh, yesterday at 23 uh, 40 sliding down a little bit more and we do have uh, down here in Peru and uh, 4.4 uh, from yesterday 2350 27 uh, sorry 72.7 uh, kilometers down this uh, is uh, from today uh, in uh, Chile slash uh, Bolivia uh, very close to the border there 4.2 8 and 27 uh, is the time on that 141.5 kilometers down a couple more down here in uh, Chile and uh, that is a 4.4 from 44 minutes after midnight at 23.7 kilometers down and then we have a 4.3 from yesterday at 22.13 a 74.6 kilometers down for him uh, sliding over into our uh, New Zealand and uh, uh, I guess we'll call it the uh, Kermadec Ridge area and so on anyway and we had uh, this one from yesterday 4.1 and uh, that was at uh, 2103 at their time 406 clicks down that's yesterday so uh, this one a uh, 4.4 from today 318 a.m. Uh, 585.5 kilometers down Fiji is uh, the area that that is affecting and uh, I hopefully uh, hope uh, that nobody has uh, noticed uh, too much of that and Indonesia remember we had that uh, big uh, 6.9 over here well we've got another uh, quake here a uh, 5.0 uh, came in at 11 uh, 28 76 uh, kilometers down uh, going up here to uh, the Philippines and we see a uh, 5.1 and uh, that was yesterday's at uh, 1918 uh, 21.7 kilometers down for him and uh, looks like uh, this might be new uh, no nope, it isn't east um, eastern uh, sea of uh, japan okay and that is uh, from 1839 yesterday 265 kilometers down approximately then we've got uh, this one considered to be a part of russia 4.3 and 11 uh, 46 a.m is the time uh, today and that came in uh, at a depth of um, 143 uh, kilometers uh, down next one up a uh, 4.4 to uh, 36 a.m. 170 uh, kilometers down and then we go up here to the uh, Kamchatka Peninsula and that is actually in the bay I thought it was on the uh, peninsula but it isn't uh, very close 5.1 and uh, that is uh, from a 7 at 23 a.m. of uh, their time at uh, 23.6 kilometers uh, down for him and of course our uh, new volcano in the list uh, is uh, somewhere right around here 
and we will uh, take a look here and um, a matter of fact it might be very close uh, to that it's rumbling there Andreoff Island is uh, where it is and it's a 4.2 happened at 2.42 a.m. and uh, 5.6 clicks uh, down for him and then we see a 2.2 uh, very close to it at 2.44 a.m. 3.8 kilometers down so um, this is uh, where we're going to uh, have a, a quick uh, peek uh, looking at the time yeah we can do that let's uh let's take a quick peek and uh, this is actually at that area and um, we will uh, show you that also on the uh, volcano map if we uh, zoom in here on the uh, volcano map let's uh, show you that and um, there's the Aleutian Islands and uh, here where they've got the earthquake and there is uh, that uh, volcano Takawangha, Takawangha, a volcano, Takawangha, it uh, sounds weird, okay, I uh, haven't said that too many times, it's in between uh, the Great Sitkins and uh, Semi over here, so it's uh, doing its thing, but uh, let's uh, take a look uh, back over at the, uh, the uh, spiel, and uh, let me uh, get back onto uh, that page got to find it uh, there we go and uh, Takawangha uh, anyway uh, that's on a uh, Tanaga Island uh, there in the Aleutians and of course uh, that thing is a uh, 400 or sorry uh, 4754 feet tall or a uh, 1449 meters and uh, it is uh, considered to be in a state of a restless and a yellow state for right now I'm not sure if you can see that picture all that well there we go uh, that's better so uh, that looks like a, a pretty darn uh, big uh, volcano looking at that and um, they've uh, recorded swarms of earthquakes in the vicinity and of course we uh, see uh, some of those earthquakes now and uh, some are getting bigger uh, most of them were uh, between uh, magnitude 2 and 3 and uh, now that we are seeing some of the uh, bigger ones uh, popping out it uh, would uh, make more sense and uh, of course uh, they uh, go back with some of the uh, previous uh, history here uh, 2017 and 2014 uh, or hang on uh, reports of 8 uh, for yeah so uh, that's quite a, a time ago uh, that that thing was uh, going but um, very uh, very interesting to see uh, this is an older uh, picture by the way from uh, last year just so um, that's what they've got posted I can't fix that uh, we don't have anything uh, newer anyway uh, that is uh, kind of cool and um, let's see uh, so we uh, got that out of the way if we um, uh, close well there really you can't see any of the other ones in Alaska anyway it is a break time you guys so I am going to uh, put you back onto uh, some canned lava and uh, we'll uh, see if we can uh, get the music playing and uh, hit that button and there we go uh, for all those good people who are here if you have not yet hit that like button please give it a quick bop also, if you have not yet hit uh, the uh, subscribe, please uh, do consider subscribing if you feel we've earned that. And on uh, that friendly note, I'm your host, uh, Dr. Fox 2000, here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I'm going to be back in five or six minutes. And uh, then we will carry on uh, with um, looking at our volcano map, and uh, or actually uh, the finish off with the earthquakes and then the volcano map. And uh, then we'll uh, get into uh, the weather and SO2, SO2 reports, then weather. There we go. Got it all uh, straight, straight as uh, an arrow, right? Yeah. I'll be back, you guys. Don't go away. I'll turn that music back up. And I'm going to try to reload those other ones and uh, that boogie-woogie thing and see what happens. Don't go away. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000.
and there we go the microphone is back on and I had to reload that file to be able to get it to play because it still wouldn't open up and now it says I have uh, three of them <laughs> and I've deleted the other two uh, which uh, leaves me with one and it doesn't make any sense but anyway uh, welcome or welcome back everyone I'm your host Dr. Fox 2000 you are watching Volcano X the live stream and of course uh, the archive footage on screen uh, that is uh, from August 15th uh, from our Siggy Fisher and uh, it uh, was uh, bubbling and throwing out some wonderful lava thank you for the uh, welcome backs uh, from uh, John and Albergirl and Sue Hayes and Kevin uh, Williams and uh, that's a uh, better uh, wh what uh, one uh, better than a uh, stereo <laughs> Oh, stereo. Stereo. I remember that. I hear you from Sharon Stewart. Oh, thanks, uh, Sharon. Uh, some of uh, uh, the other cats in the street uh, must have joined in. I noticed those cats line dancing. Yeah, that was uh, pretty awesome. Uh, what a show, eh? <laughs> anyway, uh, let's uh, get uh, back to uh, where we were. We'll leave our canned lava be. And uh, I got to find myself. Holy Batman, uh, there are so many uh, windows open. I uh, need to um, locate, locate, uh, there we go. Uh, getting uh, back to the earthquakes, we wanted to uh, continue uh, here. And uh, anyway, we were looking uh, there in the uh, Lucian Islands uh, for uh, that volcano. Then we see another uh, quake up here, 4.5 up on the um, Baffin Island and uh, that is a uh, Clyde uh, River area that they call that uh, 4.5 at uh, 3 uh, 24 a.m. 8.6 kilometers down for uh, that one and uh, that is um, kind of way out here in in no man's land and I'm kind of wondering you know this is kind of a, a fad now all of a sudden we are getting earthquakes up in the north that's really weird and uh, really odd uh, for uh, the most part so I'm not sure what to uh, think of it anyway um, uh, did we go through these uh, 5.1 in the Philippines and uh, I think uh, we have uh, this guy here uh, 4.1 in Japan we uh, did uh, take a look at this one here at Karimsky and uh, that again is in the bay not right on land of course um, but um, as you can see this is a double corner uh, for the uh, subduction zone uh, so um, definitely um, a reason for it to be uh, doing its thing and uh, let's uh, see what else we've got um, in the area we didn't uh, we did get this guy let's uh, go have a look uh, here 4.4 in Afghanistan uh, from 1.41 a.m. 223 uh, kilometers uh, down for that guy. We see uh, this other one up here, 4.3 in Russia. Uh, yesterday's 23.57, 10 clicks down. And then uh, we see uh, one on um, this uh, wonderful place, uh, Cyprus region. And uh, Piggy uh, didn't notice uh, this one, so it's a little further away. And of course, uh, Piggy's Island is right there, Koss. Uh, so um, let's see, uh, there we go. And uh, there's Koss, and uh, there's where the quake is. So quite a distance uh, between, and uh, she wouldn't have uh, felt it. So pretty normal. And uh, we uh, don't have anything uh, new showing on this particular map. Let's uh, go over to the other one uh, for a second, though. I'm going to refresh this, and uh, we will uh, see um, if we have any more quakes up here. And right now, they're not showing anything uh, new up here near Svalbard, uh, but uh, they do have the uh, two Canadian ones on here. And that is kind of uh, weird that we are getting them up in the northern uh, portions of Canada. Um, that is uh, some uh, areas uh, that are fairly quiet uh, for the most part and seeing that is is kind of odd and weird uh, but um, anyway and that is um, let's uh, get over to the uh, volcano activity map actually let's go uh, look uh, here at the La Palma first I'm gonna refresh that and uh, double check and make sure that we uh, don't see anything 
uh, somebody is I'm probably uh, going to be streaming it uh, saying it's live uh, we do have some quakes up here 750 uh, a.m. and we had a 3.6 up here on the uh, East Azores Ridge we also had uh, this guy here from a 453 a 3.7 and uh, that is uh, noticeable there and then a couple of smaller ones uh, from uh, the uh, 17th those are older 2.9 and uh, I'm sure there's the other one underneath it that we uh, don't see right there 2.9 uh, from yeah let's see there we go uh, let's uh, click on it one is 2.9 from the 17th the other one is uh, 2.9 from the 17th so two of them are right in that same location Anyway, that's the East Azores Ridge. Let's uh, take a look at the uh, Canary Islands themselves. We uh, do see uh, this one between um, uh, Gran Canaria and the other island over here, 17th as well. And of course, uh, this map is set for the last three days. Uh, so that's what we're seeing. Let's uh, take a look at uh, La Palma, real uh, quick uh, peek. And um, we'll uh, grab the two that we had there. Um, there's uh, one of them, and that is a 1.5, six kilometers down from uh, seven minutes after midnight. And uh, the only other uh, quake that they had there today, 1.4 from 11.46, uh, and that is where our star is located. And uh, that is a uh, nine kilometers down. So um, hard to say what's going on there because typically if if there was something with the old lava flow, uh, it uh, might be, you know, some um, three, four, five kilometers down, maybe even six, but um, could be an old tube collapsing or something like that. Or we've got some more magma pushing in underneath uh, La Palma. <laughs> that is another thing that uh, could be possible as well. And uh, we really don't know what's going on there at uh, this point and uh, let's uh, leave it uh, there for the quakes uh, back over to uh, the uh, volcano map and of course uh, that is the uh, new one of uh, this uh, Takawang uh, Takawangha <laughs> and uh, that is on uh, Tanaga Tanaga Island uh, in uh, the Aleutian Islands here in Alaska and uh, that is uh, what we see as far as uh, new stuff on the map uh, looking at uh, the old ones, uh, we uh, still see our two in um, Iceland and, of course, two in the Azores and uh, Michael uh, down here in uh, South Sandwich Islands who also had that quake and uh, that quake was from uh, how long ago? It doesn't tell you. <laughs> uh, it tells you the uh, how far down it was, but um, that's all right. Thor, thanks uh, for uh, re renewing, and uh, that long already, uh, time flies uh, when in a good company, and thanks uh, for, I appreciate that. Anyway, uh, looking at our ring of fire, everything looks uh, pretty normal, I don't see anything out of place. Uh, still uh, looking at New Zealand, Taupo, and White Island still are there and uh, Tofua and Homer Reef Volcano are still doing their thing uh, our, everything else here in the um, uh, Papua New Guinea area and uh, of course uh, the other area here Vanuatu uh, with uh, Aoba are doing its thing still giving off a lot of SO2 and Luolotaka is still there doing its thing Semeru, Merapi and Krakatau even uh, with their uh, bigger shakers in the area. Ibu and Dakono still are uh, there as well. And uh, I don't think there's a really anything uh, new uh, that we need to worry about. Uh, this um, uh, Ahai, Ahai, Ahai is uh, in the uh, Mariana Islands. And um, it's uh, still uh, showing as an orange. Uh, so increased activity, uh, but nothing really super new. Suwanosi Jima is still uh, very active and uh, Sakura Jima of course we already had a look at it and uh, it is uh, still considered uh, to be active and red. No change in the uh, Kamchatka Peninsula and uh, looking at uh, what we've got, Heard Island a volcano down here, um, 
Erebus is still there as a red, and the only one in that is considered to be active down there in Antarctica. And of course, uh, Piton de la Formes, a volcano in uh, the uh, Reunion Island area. And then we have um, our guys here in Africa uh, still uh, doing their thing. And of course, uh, Erta Ale right there. And of course, uh, we uh, take a look and uh, see there's Etna, Volcano, and uh, Stromboli. And of course, I uh, can't be. That's it uh, for the. Um, a volcano map you guys and we'll uh, zoom that out a little bit I will uh, turn on just so you see uh, the other uh, volcanoes around the world and uh, there they are that gives you a pretty good idea of um, what is not active now if we had say 10% um, of them active we'd be in trouble seriously and that would give us 150 uh, volcanoes uh, that's uh, three times as many as what we've got now, and that would uh, spell bad news. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, there's all our volcanoes. They're all over the place, and uh, the uh, only way uh, places uh, that you don't see any is here in uh, Brazil. No volcanoes in uh, that area, and uh, most of um, eastern uh, Canada, uh, no volcanic uh, activity there or up here in the northern portions of Europe or Russia, if you want to get away from volcanoes. Um, and maybe down here in um, uh, this wonderful place uh, of Australia. We do have that one that uh, Leo was keeping a secret from us. And uh, that is uh, Newer Volcanics, is uh, what they call it, Newer Volcanics Province, uh, province uh, Volcano and uh, they have discovered it but it hasn't uh, done a heck of a lot hey lr is here welcome lr uh, good to have you on board anyway uh, let's uh, pop over and we're going to take a look at the so2 chart and uh, see uh, what's happening with our uh, bad gases around the world uh, or at least the so2 and uh, there we go i just did a quick refresh on it and looking at what we've got, it looks like here on the uh, Kamchatka Peninsula, they're still uh, producing a lot of SO2, as well as uh, coming off of, uh, uh, from uh, China and Russia. Well, most of it is coming up from China into Russia, and then uh, recirculating out into the uh, Pacific there. Same thing is going with uh, what's up here in uh, um, uh, the uh, Kamchatka Peninsula, and then some of that Actually, it may even be uh, the uh, stuff coming off of um, our, uh, um, oh boy, I'll get it, uh, uh, the islands here. Anyway, it's uh, pluming up and coming over. Oh boy, uh, get that mental block every once in a while. I have to figure out how to get past that. Anyway, we see it uh, coming into um, Canada, uh, not bad, uh, though, for uh, the levels that we've got here. And uh, also uh, seeing uh, Northern Ontario is uh, pretty heavy. Uh, same thing uh, with um, uh, Quebec. And then uh, looking uh, Eastern side of the United States, uh, pretty much everybody there is getting uh, some extra gas. And uh, looking uh, down here, we do see a circulation and that is just about centered over uh, Phoenix. And uh, that is uh, pulling uh, some of that SO2 around uh, there. Uh, Popo Cathy Petal and uh, Mexico City are working together uh, to uh, create that plume and uh, that is of course uh, blowing into the uh, Gulf of Mexico and uh, the uh, Central American stuff is still coming out to the Pacific and uh, there we uh, see and that it's a little heavier uh, there in uh, Colombia and uh, we are seeing uh, some of that uh, blow out into the Pacific actually circulating around because of the way the uh, wind currents are today and uh, sliding down a little more uh, you can see the uh, stuff coming out into the Pacific and then the uh, wind blowing the rest of it across uh, the uh, South American continent and some of it ending up into uh, the Atlantic Ocean and uh, quick, a quick peek here a white uh, isle a volcano plume going all the way out it must be really windy there 
and no barbecue for Leo and uh, Dan isn't gonna work he's not gonna have a barbecue <laughs> anyway it looks like the refineries are uh, not uh, putting out as much same thing with the uh, coking plants a uh, very a uh, little uh, coming uh, today and uh, we see some extra SO2 uh, out here at Tofua and I'm wondering if uh, that were uh, leftover remnants uh, from yesterday when uh, Aoba was uh, putting out all that stuff and it could very well be so I uh, will uh, not worry about that for right now looking at Papua New Guinea I'm pretty normal the uh, same thing uh, with uh, what we're seeing here in, in the Indonesian areas and uh, of course uh, Luola Talk would be uh, making this and Semeru is uh, responsible for a lot of this and uh, Merapi would be there and then of course uh, over here we have a little bit uh, coming out of uh, our wonderful uh, Krakatau but uh, Jakarta is definitely helping uh, there so uh, Semeru in here uh, definitely doing its thing uh, sliding over a little bit uh, Ibu and Dekono um, working away uh, doing uh, that and then uh, of course uh, when we uh, get up here we still see uh, uh, Bulusan and uh, Mayon uh, still working away and then we do have some extra stuff coming from Manila and uh, that area but uh, I'm assuming that we are seeing a little bit of off gassing from a Taal a volcano and uh, let's uh, zoom out a little bit uh, going up we see uh, bad in China and uh, Taiwan industrial stuff and then uh, down here from uh, these islands in Japan we of course have um, Suwanosi Jima down here and Sakura Jima is about where that M is uh, right there and that is creating some SO2 in that area but we see some of that uh, blowing in from China as well uh, further up in Japan not sure what that's about but uh, it is there <coughs> and uh, there's your Kamchatka Peninsula and uh, as I mentioned before everything is kind of twirling around every which way there interesting stuff India pretty heavy uh, with uh, SO2 uh, sliding down here we see uh, the uh, pluming coming off of uh, South Africa uh, moving out into the Indian Ocean and again uh, here uh, this is a reunion island but it doesn't appear to be coming from there so much it looks more like it's uh, coming from uh, the other island here well maybe it is coming from a reunion um, possible and uh, seeing a little bit of a plume there so um, you never know anyway uh, sliding up DR Congo two volcanoes and some coking plants and uh, there and then uh, of course uh, Urta Ale uh, very very difficult to even see and uh, where it's coming from but it would be in here looks like uh, Saudi Arabia is back to normal with a lot of SO2 and uh, of course uh, this is the refineries um, Baghdad area uh, would be in, or Iraq uh, they've got refineries there Kuwait and then of course uh, you've got refineries over here as well as over here in uh, Saudi Arabia uh, looking at uh, what we've got coming off of uh, Mount Etna it's actually a lot easier going uh, than uh, before so um, you see that plume uh, going uh, kind of to the uh, northeast and uh, of course uh, that would be coming from about here and I'm sure Stromboli uh, is helping it out a little bit as well as uh, Volcano since uh, Volcano really hasn't uh, stopped off gassing it's just slows down on occasion and uh, goes kind of dormant and uh, not bad looking at uh, Europe uh, there is a lot of SO2 there especially in uh, Poland and uh, we are seeing even then to uh, Belarus as the uh, wind currents here there's got to be a low sitting uh, right here on um, uh, that area so uh, we'll see uh, what happens uh, nothing coming off of Iceland uh, so uh, that is uh, pretty safe and uh, that is it for our SO2 for today so uh, the only thing that we really have left is getting at our weather map and uh, what we will do is uh, get to that after the break and uh, what we'll do um, in the meantime I'm gonna throw you back onto uh, some canned lava 
Uh, you say SO2. Uh, nah, is that the same as a CO2? No, it is not. Uh, two different gases. SO2 is, um, what is that, sulfur, uh, sulfur dioxide, SO2. Let's uh, get the uh, definition of SO2. Uh, and uh, SO2 should be a sulfur dioxide, okay? And, uh, of course, uh, that is not the same as uh, carbon dioxide. Um, SO2 uh, says uh, sulfur, what, uh, sulfur dioxide or sulfur dioxide is a, a chemical compound with the formula of SO2. It is a toxic gas um, responsible for odors of burnt matches. Uh, it is uh, released naturally by volcanic activity as uh, and is uh, produced uh, as a byproduct of copper extraction and the burning of uh, sulfur uh, bearing uh, fossil fuels. Hopefully uh, that answers uh, that question. And um, no, it's not the same, but both of them aren't good to breathe, okay? Uh, so um, <laughs> neither one. If, uh, if you see a warning sign, CO2, uh, stay away from it. SO2, stay away from it. And uh, you really uh, don't want to be breathing either. Um, lower levels are uh, not bad. But when you get into those higher saturated areas, um, that's when uh, things uh, will um, really affect you. If Especially if you are um, you know, prone to having uh, breathing problems. Um, these gases, yeah, they'll, uh, they'll do a number on you. Anyway, I'm going to uh, leave it uh, there for right now. Let's get you back over to uh, some uh, canned lava, if uh, the cans are working. And uh, maybe uh, maybe our uh, tunes will work too. Uh, I'll see. And uh, there's the canned lava anyway. I don't know how much is left in that can, but we'll uh, let that play. And uh, we'll uh, turn some music back on for you. And... Uh, there. Hopefully that's not too loud. I'll try to keep the uh, volume down. I don't have uh, much control over the uh, volume on the other uh, other side here, so it's it's kind of weird with uh, it doing uh, what it is. Uh, CO2 is uh, good for plants. Uh, SO2 uh, becomes acid rain. Yep, it uh, does, and uh, that is uh, true, Henry. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I see we are at 99 likes. If there isn't uh, someone in here who hasn't hit that like button yet, please give it a bop. Let's see if we can uh, push that over that 100 mark. That would really, really uh, be awesome and help out with the uh, stream. Of course, it's the uh, cheapest and easiest way to help uh, support that stream. And uh, also, if you're new and you have not yet uh, hit the, uh, that uh, subscribe button, please do consider uh, hitting a subscribe. That would be uh, pretty uh, good. Um, that close bot the thumbs, yep, it is. I see it hit a 100 on my side here, so all cool. Okay, I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000. I'm gonna go take a break, and then after the break, I will come back and do the weather, and uh, then we'll go from there. Keep smiling, play nice in the lava. I'll be good, you be good. I'll be back.
Okay, that microphone is back on, and uh, yes, I noticed the uh, the uh, bit uh, rate is going up and down like a yo-yo. Uh, hopefully, everyone uh, can still hear me okay here. Uh, what uh, going again? Uh, welcome back, Doctor Fox. Thanks, uh, John. Uh, thank you, uh, Thor and Alba Girl and Oh Mummy of Hamsters uh, saying a welcome back, Uncle Doc. And uh, thanks, uh, Dave and uh, Sue and Hermian and Aloha Mark the Shark who's coming in at the end. And uh, thanks, uh, Kevin Haynes as well. Uh, <laughs> Sue A says, I hear you okay. Okay, uh, that is important. Uh, but uh, I didn't see uh, Sharon Stewart saying, I hear you, uh, but uh, I'm sure she's um, there or something. Uh, cool, Doc, all good, no problem. Okay, yeah, and, you know, the bit rate is something that is beyond my abilities uh, to uh, deal with other than uh, the local stuff here, and I've got nothing going on that should be doing anything. But as I mentioned, uh, the uh, magic uh, update your computer thing uh, popped up here just prior to the stream. And um, that, of course, uh, drives me crazy <laughs> since I just updated this thing yesterday. And uh, it's just, you know, like, what the heck is going on? I guess the updates need updates because they were uh, updated incorrectly. Uh, so uh, we will carry on. Anyway, uh, we'll uh, leave that canned lava be. Let's go over, take a look at our weather, and uh, we'll start out. I did refresh that screen, and uh, hopefully and that uh, bit rate will stay solid while I do that. Uh, looking at, uh, we'll have a check at uh, North America first. We see our coldest temperatures are actually up here in Canada, up in the Northern Hemisphere. We have a uh, minus uh, 43 degrees in a couple of spots up here. And uh, that is uh, pretty uh, darn cold. And uh, that is, uh, they can keep it up there. I want none of it. And uh, that is, of course, in the uh, north uh, northern uh, territory called uh, none of it. And uh, I didn't make that up. Uh, that's the name of it, none of it. <laughs> we've got Northwest Territories, we've got the Yukon, and then we've got none of it. Uh, the territory of none of it. I want none of it. Uh, anyway, looking at Alaska, not bad. Uh, we do see some cold spots there, but uh, they are basking in sunshine for the most part, or uh, warmer temperatures anyway. And uh, I was going to say, hey, Grin's Ed just pulled up the um, Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, yep, none of it. Uh, that's what I said, Sue. None of it. <laughs> uh, I don't want none of it. Anyway, a western coast of uh, British Columbia faring a lot better today, and uh, that's what we see. And then, of course, uh, interior of British Columbia, a little cooler. We do see that cold stuff up here in the Yukon as well. And uh, then um, uh, Northwest Territories, for the most part, is actually not that bad. The temperatures looks like uh, some of the uh, lake areas here, only minus one degree. That's uh, pretty awesome. So uh, pretty, uh, pretty wild. And uh, let's see, uh, where the heck is that at, Hermian? Oh, that's your place, uh, 29, minus two Celsius, brr, and uh, that's cold for you. Anyway, looking at Alberta, we do see uh, some uh, warmer air here, and uh, we are kind of getting a little bit uh, there, but it's not uh, that uh, not that bad for right now. Saskatchewan looking a lot colder, and then we get Half of uh, Manitoba is uh, uh, kind of not bad. The other half is a freezing uh, ice box, and uh, that is going all the way into Ontario as well. And uh, looking at uh, northern Ontario, big low sitting there. Of course, uh, that is circulating all that cold air around, and uh, that is what uh, gave uh, some of those places like Buffalo uh, four or five feet of snow, a little over a meter. And uh, that is uh, pretty nasty uh, for that area. Not so warm uh, down here uh, in uh, the uh, lower portions of Ontario or uh, Toronto coming in at uh, minus two, minus three. Uh, Montreal about uh, minus one, Quebec uh, minus uh, six or seven, and uh, not uh, that good. 
uh, out here in um, New Brunswick, we are seeing some colder temperatures in the uh, northern areas. Uh, bottom end, though, looks a little bit uh, warmer and uh, minus uh, two, minus uh, three, minus four. Uh, Coal Harbor, and uh, that is uh, a Sioux area there, uh, showing um, uh, two degrees uh, Celsius. So uh, not bad, actually, uh, most of um, what we're seeing, uh, those temperatures, uh, two or one, or even a zero or minus two, is not that bad for out there in uh, Nova Scotia. Uh, Newfoundland, on the other hand, a little on the uh, cooler side, with the exception of uh, the uh, peninsulas out here, a uh, um, little bit uh, warmer, I guess. But uh, looking at uh, Newfoundland, Labrador area, um, yeah, minus uh, 14, 15, depending on where you are. And uh, about uh, the best is uh, out here at the coast, of course. Uh, which is a uh, pretty normal so I uh, will leave um, that alone and we'll go over to the uh, western side of the United States they look like they've had a lot better of a day today and uh, we uh, see uh, Portland uh, coming in uh, at uh, roughly about six degrees uh, Celsius and um, that's uh, not bad uh, who brought up Sudbury Sudbury Ontario uh, minus four degrees uh, light, uh, light snow, light snow, ha, 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 uh, snow is heavy no matter what you say. Anyway, <laughs> looking at uh, what we're seeing in uh, Death Valley, about 21 degrees Celsius, Los Angeles about the same temperature, maybe a little warmer, 23, San Jose uh, 16, uh, so uh, not bad. Let's uh, zoom in a little bit. Uh, Mexicali coming in right at the border there, uh, 20 degrees Celsius, about 68 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. The same thing uh, goes for uh, Phoenix and uh, a little uh, cooler in uh, Tucson, but close. Uh, there you can see kind of the cutoff line, northern uh, portions of Arizona quite cold. Then you get into a uh, New Mexico burr, and uh, we uh, see that area where those quakes are is actually fairly cold as well and I'm wondering if uh, there's um, a reason for it <laughs> oh hang on there's a high here and uh, that high of course I'm uh, drawing down uh, some of that cold air uh, looking at this nasty storm here this is developing into something a little bit bigger as uh, time progresses uh, in uh, the Gulf of Mexico so um, we'll take a look uh, back at this. We uh, do know that uh, that was storming uh, down in here, um, the uh, area around where our, our uh, star base is and all that. So uh, pretty cool. Uh, seven in Houston, uh, Austin coming in at four, uh, five in San Antonio, uh, moving up to uh, Dallas. We see about four degrees uh, there sliding over a little further to the uh, east and we see uh, very cool temperatures in uh, um, places uh, like uh, Mississippi and uh, Louisiana and then uh, moving over uh, you know four or five degrees and that's uh, pretty cool for Alabama uh, same thing well up here in the um, mountainous areas up um, you're gonna see uh, colder temperatures in the Appalachians but uh, a little bit warmer down here in um, uh, Georgia, Atlanta only coming in at about five or six degrees, uh, sneaking down to the bottom end. We are maximum about 26 degrees on the bottom end of, of Florida, but uh, still uh, not uh, too, too bad. Uh, Orlando coming in at 16 and uh, Tallahassee only about 11. Uh, looking at uh, what we see here in um, uh, South Carolina, uh, nines, tens, as far as uh, Celsius, so um, uh, 50s, uh, high 40s, and uh, 50s uh, for a Fahrenheit scale, uh, just so you have it. Um, Grandma B's house uh, coming in at about uh, 7 degrees Celsius, uh, then be um, somewhere around 42, 43, something like that, uh, Fahrenheit, so I'm pretty... Uh, pretty uh, cold uh, but out on the coast it gets a little warmer in some spots uh, Washington uh, three degrees Baltimore two Philadelphia a little uh, colder yet at one New York at one and uh, of course uh, looking at the other places up here as we go up 
we see um, they are uh, definitely holding those temperatures anyway a buffalo is where they ended up getting all that snow so um, um, six seven nine uh, minus six seven and nine degrees depending on where you are and that is uh, fairly cool we see everything is whipping through here pretty good um, on the uh, lower portions Hamilton actually is sitting at um, minus one uh, Woodstock um, minus uh, four degrees so this whole area of course uh, a very very susceptible to a uh, lake effect snow um, actually all around the Great Lakes uh, they are so that's something to bear in mind anyway I will uh, find out uh, what that guy is in a few minutes looking a little bit warmer here in the uh, the uh, eastern side of the Baja and uh, the uh, Baja itself um, some uh, not bad temperatures are warming up again which is really really uh, good for them because it's been uh, so cold uh, Mazatlan uh, coming in at about 25 Alcapulco a little bit warmer at uh, 27 28 uh, Mexico City only about uh, 18 19 today depending on where you are there and uh, going into um, uh, Cancun at 25 degrees Celsius and uh, sliding down it looks like the uh, western coast a little bit on the warmer side than the eastern uh, stuff right now uh, looking at uh, South America and uh, the uh, rainforest area keeping a uh, fairly moderate temperatures uh, anywhere from about 23 uh, to uh, about 27 28 degrees so uh, not bad in most of those areas we get down a little uh, further we see a Rio de Janeiro only making it up to about 20 uh, there uh, Sao Paulo about 18 and then we see uh, down here in uh, Bolivia a lot warmer with uh, some uh, 30 degree uh, temperatures in there northern uh, end of uh, Paraguay also about the same and uh, cooling off a little bit uh, further in the uh, south with uh, 24 and uh, we uh, see here uh, 30 31 32 up in the uh, northern uh, parts of uh, Argentina and uh, even uh, really nice in Uruguay with uh, 26 27 degrees Celsius not bad uh, Buenos Aires uh, 27 uh, right now and it looks like the cutoff is about here as far as the uh, warm temps and that gets a whole bunch cooler really really quickly and down on the bottom end but I'm not going to worry about that so much <coughs> pardon me and uh, looking at uh, what we see here in New Zealand and uh, that is um, kind of nah, not bad could be worse and we could see uh, really a uh, cold temps but um, um, anywhere from about 11 uh, up to about 19 is uh, what we see on the uh, South Island uh, North Island a little bit warmer a um, couple places 21 22 depending on where you are and uh, for the uh, most part it's uh, not that bad I mean it's livable guys it's livable we see uh, this uh, low right here and that is causing a shear uh, line right there going down to another low and that is nasty so on uh, that warm weather that they had there in Tasmania yesterday is all gone and now they've got Arctic air looking at them uh, going to uh, freeze them back out and uh, the uh, poor Tasmanian tiger won't exist after this <laughs> it's already extinct and uh, Hobart uh, coming in at about uh, 14 degrees uh, Celsius Melbourne Leo's place uh, only uh, 15 today Adelaide a little bit uh, cooler uh, than yesterday as well 14 uh, there Sydney on the other hand uh, looking at 22 23 and uh, we go up here to uh, Brisbane the home of Oz and uh, 31 degrees Celsius a beautiful uh, temperature uh, sliding over uh, having a quick peek at the perf and uh, that's about 15 degrees uh, Celsius right now not uh, too too bad and uh, looking at uh, what we've got here for high temperatures um, we uh, see 36 up in the uh, northern uh, portions and uh, what about over here nothing bigger than 36 and that's what it looks like uh, today um, yep uh, so far that's all we're seeing 
and uh, not bad out here in uh, Fiji and Vanuatu, even uh, uh, New Caledonia doing uh, not bad. And then um, Papua New Guinea are uh, pretty normal. Uh, same thing with uh, most of Indonesia and the Philippines. Uh, we uh, do see some higher elevations, a little bit uh, cooler, but uh, hey, give it some time. Hey, Do Free is here. Um, I love the family lava for uh, lava family uh, for sure. Okay, um, glad to see you and uh, welcome. And uh, of course, we see a storm uh, brewing here. Uh, Bangkok uh, coming in at about 25 degrees Celsius. Uh, Sue brought it up, says 26. 88% relative humidity. Uh, pretty normal sounding uh, for today. And uh, looking at what we've got going up a little bit uh, further. Uh, we uh, do see uh, there in uh, Japan uh, still uh, not very warm. It is winter time uh, for them or a uh, fall and we see uh, the uh, cutoff about here where it uh, really uh, starts to drop into a uh, single digits and uh, that is uh, the uh, northern uh, portions are quite uh, cold. Uh, going up uh, the uh, Russian islands here, Corel Islands and uh, up into the uh, Kamchatka Peninsula we see anywhere from about uh, minus uh, 3 up to uh, minus 17, 18, depending on where you are. I don't even want to entertain that cold area up there. We'll uh, look at it later. It's going to give you a frostbite. And uh, looking at India, nighttime temperatures, of course, uh, they are, I guess, uh, doing uh, not too good, but that is okay. Warmest uh, place looks like uh, Sri Lanka down on the bottom here, but uh, that's what we got. And then uh, let's uh, go to uh, South uh, Africa, and uh, there we go, uh, 15 uh, degrees in Cape Town today. Uh, Johannesburg uh, coming in at about 15 as well. And uh, looking at what we've got here, it looks a lot warmer in uh, the uh, water area here and a little uh, cooler on the land right now uh, for uh, Madagascar, but uh, still holding some uh, reasonable temperatures, nothing that is going to uh, freak anybody out there. And uh, Central uh, Africa, pretty uh, steady, uh, higher elevations, of course, a little bit uh, colder. We do see a little bit more warmth uh, here. Cairo coming in at about uh, 15, 16 degrees uh, today and uh, looks like a little bit more cooling uh, there in Saudi Arabia, Yemen and Oman and uh, even uh, UAE uh, only about uh, 22, uh, 20, 21 to about 24 degrees, uh, 27 out in the water. Uh, so uh, that's what we've got there and it definitely looks uh, colder in uh, Iran and then uh, Iraq. Um, down here. Boy, I don't know why it's so uh, cold right there, but uh, uh, maybe higher elevations. But we see and that. And again, um, I'm glad that that really cold stuff has moved out of uh, Turkey and is or a little bit more to the east uh, right now. So that's not bad. Istanbul, about 19 degrees. And if we uh, take a look at uh, Piggy's uh, place, uh, she'll have about uh, 20 degrees uh, Celsius right now or thereabouts and um, we'll uh, take a look and see if uh, that'll come up and there we go and uh, of course looking at uh, down here in uh, Crete um, not bad for a uh, nighttime temperatures and uh, let's see what piggy's got 21 yep 21 degrees Celsius uh, for uh, some, um, I think it's about one o'clock in the morning or two o'clock in the morning there. And uh, that is uh, not bad. Uh, but the records, uh, what uh, do you flayed 77 inches of snow in one event uh, on November 18th. Mm, isn't that nice? 77 inches of snow. That is, uh, how much is that in centimeters uh, times uh, 2.5? So uh, that would be... Uh, uh, I gotta think. That's gonna make me think. 2.5. That's a lot of centimeters. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of centimeters. Anyway, uh, looking at uh, 
uh, temperatures in uh, Sicily and not bad uh, for uh, this time of year. But again, the coastlines are a lot warmer. Once you get into the interiors, it uh, starts to cool uh, down. Six degrees in Milano today, that's the coldest I've seen it so far. And uh, a new Irish monkland, AKA uh, Sardinia, uh, is uh, not um, that warm either today. We actually uh, see the uh, northern uh, portions of uh, the Sahara uh, here in uh, Morocco, as well as, uh, um, I'm not sure what the country that actually is. Is that Libya? No, uh, never mind. Anyway, uh, they're cold. <laughs> and same thing with uh, Spain. Uh, Portugal a little bit warmer, but um, yep, Spain uh, getting down to the uh, low single digits. And um, in the uh, mountainous areas, minus two, minus three, and that is uh, not good. Um, that's it, uh, falling asleep uh, night, night, everyone. Okay, and uh, Piggy, uh, you take care, and uh, good night. And uh, again, uh, congratulations on uh, your new dog, Thistle. I am very, very happy that you got him home, or her home and uh, uh, to her forever home and um, may may it be the uh, a proud day for you and to have her there so um, remember that it's um, it's really nice and make sure you get lots of pictures take a picture of her while she's sleeping <laughs> on that note a good night piggy sleep well and uh, lovely dreams and uh, looking at uh, the um, stuff here in uh, France of course uh, the uh, coastal area is a little bit warmer but uh, interior again uh, getting uh, down to in some places uh, the freezing mark so uh, that's what we're seeing there cold in the uh, Alps and uh, Munich uh, coming in at four Stuttgart at five Frankfurt at uh, one degree uh, Köln or Cologne at, at uh, two degrees and uh, we are seeing a minus one in uh, Berlin, a minus one in Hamburg, and uh, looking at, um, it looks like Luxembourg is actually a warm uh, or warmer or single digits though, uh, but um, Belgium as well looks uh, colder in uh, the uh, Netherlands or Holland, and uh, Amsterdam coming in at a minus one, brr, uh, that is cold for them, uh, they're not used to that quick uh, peek at uh, England and Wales and Scotland and so a little warmer on the uh, bottom end here with the uh, warmer air blowing in but um, cold uh, for the most part uh, mid uh, single digits uh, for what we see uh, for most of it same thing over here in um, Ireland and uh, Doolin probably coming in at about seven or eight degrees home of Irish monk and then uh, sliding over here, taking a look at uh, what Thor's got in store for him, and uh, looking at uh, anywhere from about uh, minus one to plus uh, two. Uh, Copenhagen uh, coming in at about one or two degrees uh, Celsius, depending on where you're standing. And then uh, sliding up a little uh, further, uh, we see Oslo a uh, minus two, uh, zero in uh, Stockholm. And and uh, then, of course, uh, Riga coming in at minus 5. St. Petersburg, uh, minus 5. Do we dare look at Moscow? Minus 4 degrees Celsius. And uh, sliding up, looking at the uh, stuff up north here. Quite cold. And you know, the uh, northern uh, portions of, um, I guess, it would be uh, Norway. Actually, all three of them. Norway, Finland, and uh, Sweden. A little on the uh, cool side and here we see uh, double lows uh, pulling up working hard to pull down some of that cold air but also uh, push up some warm air and uh, of course our uh, Iceland uh, Reykjavik uh, at about six degrees Celsius right now and our Ragnar area would be somewhere around uh, four to five degrees depending on where you're standing and that is uh, it for our temperatures and again the uh, coldest areas are up here in uh, Canada up in the uh, northern hemisphere anyway and uh, they are uh, minus uh, 41 42 degrees is uh, what we see actually I did see a minus 43 there earlier but uh, I'll uh, leave that alone 
I didn't even check over here. I should uh, check Northern Russia real quick again. And um, not seeing uh, those really cold temps there either. Um, popping over to our precipitation. And uh, this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. And uh, we uh, see uh, this uh, northern uh, areas, of course, uh, uh, northwest territories, and uh, none of it uh, getting a bunch of uh, snow. Northern uh, uh, British Columbia on the interior side and uh, going into the Yukon, uh, they're getting uh, some snow up there as well. And then along the Alaskan coastline, it looks like Queen Charlotte's is about where that uh, cold stuff starts and goes up there and sliding over and um, looks uh, dry here in Alberta and um, when you get over here a little bit further we see a little bit of snow on the eastern uh, side of uh, Saskatchewan but Manitoba looks like uh, they are going to get some and then of course around the uh, Great Lakes uh, we have that lake effect snow and uh, as we mentioned before, a buffalo had uh, gotten a whole bunch of it. And uh, that is uh, what they were uh, seeing there. So um, pretty uh, nasty uh, stuff for the most part. So uh, right now, um, down on the uh, bottom end of uh, Ontario, Hamilton uh, getting a bunch of snow. And then we see uh, more uh, stuff happening here. Sudbury uh, getting a snow. Sault Ste. Marie uh, getting uh, nailed with some snow. Uh, so uh, lots of uh, stuff coming down and uh, hopefully uh, that uh, these other guys uh, will be uh, all good there uh, 77 uh, looks uh, oh just about two meters uh, Kevin uh, thank you for 196 centimeters at uh, 77 inches uh, so uh, that is uh, pretty good and uh, looking at uh, what Sue is I uh, got there's going to be some snowflakes in Sue's future uh, from uh, our looks uh, here and uh, that is uh, what we're seeing anyway all the way up the um, looks like pretty much up uh, going up the St. Lawrence Seaway here we're going to uh, see uh, some snow for those people and then also um, there um, yeah that's not going to be good weather for her with the uh, snowflakes those palm trees are going to have a hard time <laughs> anyway, let's uh, continue on uh, down here. Uh, looking at uh, most of the United States, it looks pretty clear in uh, most places until we get down here into uh, the uh, Gulf area. And uh, as we mentioned before, there was a pretty uh, good storm uh, down here. So uh, this, I don't know what, uh, if it hasn't been named or anything but it is uh, definitely sitting there and it's churning away. We uh, do have some uh, very heavy winds and some very heavy rains. So bottom end of uh, Texas and uh, um, uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, and uh, even the uh, panhandle of uh, Florida are uh, getting uh, nailed with some heavy duty uh, rain uh, there. So hopefully uh, they will fare well. Uh, Cancun, not the place to be right now, and uh, looking at uh, Central America, uh, that is uh, pretty normal for them to uh, get a bunch of uh, storm stuff going on. And of course, uh, looking at what we see in the uh, northern uh, portions of the Amazon, uh, lots of uh, storms. There is an open area in between here, but uh, we also see in uh, eastern uh, Brazil, um, it is uh, pretty uh, nasty. And then coming uh, just on the inside of the uh, mountain ranges, uh, we are seeing uh, some more storms uh, there as well. Looking at the uh, bottom end, uh, not so bad. We do have a bunch of rain in uh, our uh, Argentina, but it uh, doesn't look like Buenos Aires is getting any rain. Very little uh, here in Paraguay. And uh, we'll uh, leave that be. We slide over to uh, New Zealand and uh, great weather for a duck. If you're a duck, you can go to New Zealand. Do they have ducks in New Zealand? I'm wondering. <laughs> um, I've never asked that question before. Uh, do you uh, do you have ducks in New Zealand? Uh, that is a really uh, good uh, question. Philomena, welcome back. I'm uh, glad to have you here. And uh, anyway, uh, looking at uh, the South Island, 
bunch of uh, different rain. Of course, we still have those two lows uh, skirting it. Uh, so uh, that is still uh, bringing in uh, some of that, especially this one over here, bringing uh, down some of that warmer air. And as a result of that is mixing uh, with the warmer air. And we are getting uh, some um, rain in those areas. Looking at uh, what we've got, Tasmania, western uh, side, some rain, uh, eastern side, a uh, little bit. And of course, uh, that low, uh, that is going to be nasty because if that moves off this direction, that's going to get over to uh, New Zealand as well. Um, not so wet in Australia today, a little bit along the uh, coastline here, Melbourne uh, likely getting some showers. Sydney looks dry and looks uh, dry in Brisbane, uh, but uh, they do have some rain just behind them as well. And uh, a few spots in the, uh, the outback, not so bad. Uh, looking at what we have here in uh, our Philippine and Malaysian, Indonesian area, and same with uh, Papua New Guinea and that. Uh, pretty rough looking, uh, lots of uh, storms. We see uh, this uh, low still sitting here churning away. And I notice these storms seem to uh, like to sit in one spot for a while. And that makes it uh, very, very rough for them. Uh, going up a little bit more, we do see the same kind of thing uh, sitting here off the coast of uh, Japan. And um, I bet you uh, Sakura Jima is getting rain right now. And of course, uh, looking at uh, that, all of uh, central uh, Japan be getting uh, some rain. They got a high sitting up on the uh, northern portion. The same thing with up on the Kamchatka Peninsula. That'll allow it to uh, get a little a bit uh, colder up there. Aleutian Islands, of course, uh, that's the uh, area up here. Uh, they have that low sitting here, so on the uh, Bering uh, Sea uh, area, definitely uh, uh, getting uh, pretty windy, stormy, sliding over, uh, looking at India, Indian Ocean, a storm right there, a continuance of our equatorial storm, and uh, we uh, do see some stuff out uh, of in the uh, bottom end of the Indian Ocean here as well, not bad, in the uh, southern Africa, central Africa, uh, rainforest and uh, rainy areas, uh, pretty uh, normal for uh, them. And uh, we uh, see some uh, rain in Saudi Arabia, so uh, that is uh, good for them. A couple spots here in uh, the uh, desert, uh, that is odd. And uh, looking at uh, what a piggy might be getting, and uh, she's got the uh, flow coming from the south, so I don't think she's going to get a heck of a lot of rain unless uh, something uh, slides over a little bit. And uh, then uh, we are looking at uh, the uh, storms over Italy, and uh, all these other uh, fun countries here. Boy, oh boy, uh, they are getting uh, nailed. And uh, even uh, New Irish Monkland uh, getting uh, nailed as well. Um, not good uh, sailing times if you're in the Mediterranean. And uh, looking at um, uh, Portugal and, of course, uh, uh, here in uh, Spain. Spain, northern uh, portion, has got most of it. A little bit on the uh, coastline here in Portugal, but uh, looking uh, at uh, France, some rain there out on that area, and of course the uh, area inside here, not bad showers though. Uh, Alps are getting uh, more snow, and uh, Munich, I don't know if uh, zero right now in Munich as far as uh, water coming down, but bottom end of um, uh, Germany, and then uh, Luxembourg. Uh, getting a rain and then of course uh, here in uh, Belgium uh, some rain as well and a uh, quick uh, peek at uh, what we see uh, we'll, uh, yeah look at that uh, that's pretty nasty uh, there uh, Wales and a uh, good portion of England and Scotland are getting a uh, nail really bad and the uh, coastlines here in uh, uh, Ireland uh, is uh, not bad uh, getting uh, some uh, stuff and some snow up here in parts of uh, Denmark and of course in Sweden you uh, can expect a snow two centimeters roughly in uh, Stockholm so lots of stuff going on there and uh, then uh, with the uh, warmer temperatures uh, that are being uh, pushed up by this double low here we are seeing some um, 
not so good of weather and uh, there is a lot of snow uh, falling in Iceland and some ice rain and um, of course uh, that is happening you can see where most of it is um, I wouldn't want to be there right now uh, ice rain up top too so uh, looking uh, pretty um, mm, pretty much like uh, almost winter <laughs> Anyway, uh, our equatorial storm all the way across the planet seems to be uh, fairly much intact. And we see that there. And of course, uh, the uh, patterns uh, uh, down on the bottom here are changing. And up on the top are changing as well as the uh, flow uh, changes from uh, season to season. All right, uh, let's uh, find uh, our uh, coldest uh, temperatures uh, for today. And uh, I'm sure uh, that will be uh, down here somewhere in the Antarctic. And um, yeah, I uh, did find a minus uh, 53 already. Uh, but uh, let's see if we can uh, find anything uh, colder. And uh, what do we got? Uh, minus, uh, minus 54. Let's uh, zoom in there. And uh, do we have anything uh, colder than minus 54 degrees? I don't see anything there. And uh, minus 54. Come on. Uh, let's find minus 64. No? Minus 54. And uh, that is over there. I don't see anything else. Uh, that is a lot warmer. And we uh, don't see anything else uh, down here either. So, yep, I think uh, that is about uh, the uh, best I can do. Uh, it's a minus uh, 54 degrees uh, Celsius. I have to get back on it though. Uh, there it is. So, <coughs> um, I uh, got a minus 54. Sue uh, found a minus 55 degrees Celsius. Sue, you win. You get that uh, free trip to uh, go feed the penguins. Uh, so uh, make sure you bundle them up, though. Uh, it's uh, still pretty chilly uh, for them. I know they got fur coats, but uh, they uh, will uh, need some uh, warmer clothes at uh, those temperatures. And uh, that is it uh, for today. So, uh, Sue, congratulations. Uh, you win uh, the uh, coldest attempts uh, for today. And uh, that is uh, pretty cool. <laughs> Um, yeah, get it? That's pretty cool. No, oh, bad humor, bad humor. All right, uh, let's I'll leave it at that, ladies and gentlemen. And, um, uh, yep, uh, yeah, off uh, to, uh, the cold, uh, you feed uh, the penguins. <laughs> uh, don't take that parrot along, he'll freeze. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, uh, that is it uh, for today, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's see if we can uh, get you uh, back on some uh, canned lava here for uh, right now as I wrap things up. I want to say uh, thank you uh, to all the uh, people in here, of course. Uh, you are all awesome. And uh, thank you uh, for being a part, part of our uh, wonderful uh, lava family. Oh, a parrot I uh, got uh, caught in the uh, jet stream. Uh-oh. I hope he can make it out of there because you know, he'll freeze to death down there. Anyway, I want to say a big uh, thank you uh, to our uh, two uh, super chatters uh, today. And, of course, uh, that was uh, Michael Olson. And, uh, of course, uh, Colin uh, dumped in uh, a super chat as well. Thank you very kindly uh, to you guys. And, uh, of course, uh, to the uh, gift givers. And... Uh, I did uh, five gift uh, memberships today. Uh, Sharon Stewart uh, did five gift memberships. And Kevin Haynes uh, did one gift membership. And I seen all 11 of them uh, get handed out, which is excellent. I really I like it when I can see the uh, result on my screen. And, and that is awesome. Uh, so uh, thank you uh, very, very kindly, everyone, uh, for uh, being on here and uh, for uh, being a part of our uh, wonderful group and uh, that is going to uh, wrap it up for today a big thank you to our moderators arizona snowman piggy who is hopefully sleeping and uh, cnd boy and uh, uh, 
we'll probably have Gary at 24-7 live. AZ Skies hiding in the background as well. And uh, possibly uh, Lucas Snow and Joseph Fields. So uh, thank you, uh, moderators. Uh, we appreciate all of you. And um, very uh, good to have everyone on board to, uh, today. Uh, today is Saturday, so tomorrow is uh, Sunday. And again, the stream uh, does start at the earlier time. And uh, thank you, uh, Sue. And I'm um, glad, uh, glad we could make it a good show. Uh, be good, be kind, uh, take care, everyone. And uh, please, please, uh, most of all, make sure you tell your loved ones that you love them tonight. For tomorrow is never promised. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And we'll see everyone tomorrow. Take care and a good night. Oink, oink. <laughs>